Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, former Envoy Extreme here. Here we're looking at all the new monsters dropped today on the 7th of October, 2024. And oh boy, we got a bank section of mods. I think we've got about 29 or so brand new individual mod packs. And in those packs, I think something like 50, 60 items we've got, I think on those lines. So yeah, this is going to be a long mod review. So as always, time out to be down below for any piece of equipment you wish to look at and how to structure this today is as follows. So first of all we'll be looking at the equipment, then we're going to be looking at the buildings and production, cell point, or just one cell point we've got looking at, and then yeah, we'll round off looking at some of the brand new equipment we've got. So without further ado, let's get cracking on with the mod review here. So starting off with, we've got some chainsaws and that, so this is the Lizard PSX90 pack, this is by Eternit. 23.6 from Megawatts download, no slot counts, obviously because it's chainsaws, so we've got a section of chainsaws, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 chainsaws, and I've got a couple of them here now, all these are old post chainsaws, with a work width of 0.4.5 meters and that, so pretty much the exact same, 4.2 horsepower, and yeah, so without further ado, you'll find this under tools, under chainsaws, so under chainsaws, go towards the end, so see we've got the PS90, PS190, 190-1, PS290, PS290-1, PS390, 490, and yeah, these are pretty much exactly the same, and I think the real difference in these is just the age in it, so, yep, yeah, so you've got the 90 here, and goes up to the 490, so yeah, these are just say like olds up to the brand new mod one, so, let's go and have a look at some trees and that, so, what I'm just going to do is quickly hop over here, so here we've got our selection of trees, so I think I'll go with the, I think this is the PS90, the oldest one of the lot, so Ooh, that is a nice sound to it Yep, decent cuts through that, cuts through all the big trees that, so I think I'll go with the more modern one, so I think it's something like this one here we've got, so I think we head across, so with this tree, yeah, pretty much it's like the same engine sound, but yeah, actually there's something different to like the base game that, so things like that, I do appreciate that, but yeah, without further ado, there's not much to say, old post chainsaw style on that, but anyways, that is the Lizard PSX 90 pack by Eternit, next, now for the Lizard U240, this is by Camille R1 at Possibly, oh sorry, Pataldogia, if I pronounce that right. 8.6 megawatt download, and this is a simple 2 meter work with this arrow. It costs 3.5 grand, requires 30 horsepower, and work speed of 50 kilometers or about 8 9 miles an hour. So, first of all, you'll find this under tools, under disc arrows, and then go towards the end. So, you'll so see them over here. So, yeah, 3.5 grand weighs half a ton. 2 meters, 9 miles an hour or 50 km an hour to work with, so you do have some slight different models. Really it's just, again, it's a model thing, it doesn't do anything for the working with, horsepower requirement or the speed. On that, got extra weight, 1, 2 or 3. So you've got 500 kilograms, 510, 560 and up to 600 or none. For this type, so you've got tuff, tuff 1, tuff 2 or smooth, so different little variations over there. And for the rear disc, so yeah, again, you can match it or just have a bit of a variation, depends on what you want. Ground slicers, no or yes, so it just helps slicing up the ground in real life. Got it in the front, back or both. Now for the rear board, got none, one, two and three, or none, so just a little board, a little bit of protection and sort of, if you're on the highways and that, shows you the speed, or the top speed is limited to. Now round reflectors, got round, round two. Round three, or oh sorry, round two, round two, round two, two, triangular, nothing. So I'm gonna leave that on the triangular set because that's gonna have an impact on our color, color selection. And for the real ones, it's exactly the same. Triangles, rounds, and all that lovely good stuff. Now for the main color, so again, this is like the old Polish kind of style one, so you got your very rustic colors. We do have some more brighter, sort of newer colors, so let's go with the green there. Design colour, so that's going to change the actual 
spike arrows and that. And yeah, I have an option for the light color. That's going to change the front triangles. And that will change the rear, I think. Yeah, so that's changed the rear, that changes the front. So, again, recustomizable, really even though it's a little too weird, this caro. Apologies there, I thought we had a helicopter interruption again, so. But yeah, so it gets hooked up to a tractor, so. Pop into our case here. Again, this is going to be way too big for what we've got here, but it's the first tractor I saw, so. Let's get you hooked up. And then, yeah, sort of zoom in, have a look, see how it looks, so. If we open the help menu, simply got race and lure disc arrow, and that is pretty much it. Do have options to adjust the crane tool, so sort of adjust it as you want. So yeah, it can be really precise on how you want to do your disc in. But in the day, it's just animations, adds a bit of resistance to it, so drop down, and we are cultivating, so. There we go, cultivating that to be working with for that. Love how it churns up the dirt now, that it sort of bubs up, brings it up to the surface. Then raise it, and there we go. So yeah, not much else to say to it. Simple disc arrow, nice little quality mod. But yeah, that is the uh, Lizard U240 by Camel R1 at Patologia. Next. Now for the Cultivator 7 Anchors, this is by Thomas96 Modding at Avatar24. 6.12 megabits download, slot count is 9, no sorry, 4 goes down to 1, and what this is, is a 1.9 meter worker width cultivator, and it's based on a 1960s to 1980s Italian kind of style that, very popular in Italy back in the day, but yeah, so you'll find this under tools, under cultivators, and once again, go towards the end, find it just here, one and a half grand, Requires 60 horsepower, weighs 1.4 tons, and as I mentioned, 1.9 meter working width, work speed of 6 miles an hour. So yeah, you got your configurations here, so automatically the price does go up to if you use the sander that. But it's just with the rollers and then the back, or you have the options without the roller. For the type attacher, you got the original, so the little pin hook, and the eye attacher, so I and they, these are still pin hook attachers, so it just depends on the type you want. So, once again, go to our overpowered case net, get you hooked up. So, yeah, we've got race and load the cultivator, and that is it. So, yeah, overall, very uh, simplistic mod. Really not much else to shout about, so there we go, that is raised. Now, drop down the cultivator, and you can see the difference between a Cultivator and a disc harrow, so this goes a bit more deeper, doesn't just tickle the surface, it does go slightly deeper but not as deep as a plow. You see, it's a very smooth animation, has that little rolling thing on the back, so if we have a look here, look at the difference, so the this one does the cultivate state, whilst the disc harrow does the seabed prep and that, so at the end of the day, it depends on what you want in that. And it does swivel at the back, so very easy to maneuver. So, let's say, for example, you drop this down, you can do tight turns on it. Not the most tight is off working radiuses, but still tight enough in that, so very easy to navigate around the fields in that. And when you raise that up, drop it down, pull away, like so. But yeah, again, a nice little quality mod, very simplistic. But yeah, so that is the Cultivator 7 Anchors by Thomas96 Modding and Arator24. Next. Now for the Lizard Leopard Duo 280. This is by Prishmik 23433, 8.15 megabits download. And what we've got here is a 2.8 meter working width mulcher. So you've got two variations, you've got the Duo 280. And the 280 1, so the dash 1 is 6 slots, normal 280 is 5 slots on console. So, yeah, you find this under tools, under mulchers, go towards the end, so yeah, 10 grand respectively. The difference is if you look at the rear, it's really just the wheel attachers and that, so you've got the attachers and that and the wheels. Depends on what you want in that, so starting off with the 280, got the back cover, we just had a quick look at, so you got your closed or open up. Then safeguard got the lower link ball, so that's going to be at the front here. 
quarters or the link balls. So it depends on what you want. Stickers, got one, two, and back to one. So just different kinds of stickers with the Lizard Depper duo. And then, yeah, so you've got your shaft here. So that's going to be the actual mulcher itself. So you've got the internal shaft or the external shaft. So yeah, again, depends on what you want in that. Make color, you've got four custom colors. So you've got green, red, gray, and orange. So that's going to be the main color. And then the shaft, you've got the custom greens, yellow, along with a beige, and gray. And also got a nice little dark blue in that. So, oh yeah, they depends on what you want. And uh, for the 280-1, it's going to be the exact same configuration. So, let's go for gray there and green. And there we go. So, yep, yeah, these are exactly the same. The only difference is just the little wheels on the back, so that makes it very easy to maneuver that, especially when parking up and out and on the ground. So it has that bit of assistance with, you know, with us doing the job. So yeah, got lower and turn on, but also you press L1, right stick left to right, just adjust the position of the P2 shaft. So very good for things like vineyard working at. So that's about 2.8 meters. I think that is on the larger end of the vineyard's normal base game that. Big sorcy, we are mulching away. Yeah, we'll go over this little excess crop here. You can see, we are mulching away. See, so yeah, so see, when you turn in, the wheels are moving. See, so yeah, if I drop that, now go to the normal one. It's going to show what it looks like when you haven't got the wheels in that. So, I think it pretty much is going to be exactly the same again. I think it's just all more of a styling that and design that how it was in real life. So yeah, let's go over to this side. Got the motor in that, so again got the variations of left to right. And this side, I'll say, what's that? Same. Actually, I think with the wheels in that makes it a bit easier to turn that. So you've got the wheels assisted rather than the weight and the power of the tractor, so. If you're using a smaller, lower horsepower tractor, because what does this require? Like 60 horsepower said? Yep, yeah, 75. So if you do have that lower end horsepower now, that 75, 60 horsepower range, then you may want the wheels now to assist with the steering. But anyways, that is the Lizard Leopard Duo 280 by Prismic 23433. Next. Now for the Lizard Z261. This is by Clonic. 22.29 megabit sound loads, and you may think we got something very similar, and we do. We got the Z263 version, so these are the Lizard versions of the Sitma versions, the main brand options that Clonic has got, but obviously that's for only PC and Mac. But anyways, for the Z261, it is 22.29 megs per download. Slot count is 9 goes down to 1. And yeah, so you find this under Tools, under Baders. I go sort of towards near the end, so after all these we're gonna be looking at later on. So yeah, 20 grand. Of course, just 45 horsepower capacity of 3000 litre bells. Weighs 2.4 tons, 125 centimeter bells. Working speed of 6 miles an hour, and as I mentioned, nice lots goes down to 1. So yeah, we have luck. So yeah, got some stickers, got one, two, and without. Main colour, you got red. Red 2, which is a bit more of an orange. Then like a faded, ready, orange, red free. Run colors got beige, beige two, and beige three. And that is pretty much it. Look it up close in detail. Again, this is more like say East European, kind of Polish kind of beta you'll use that or something of that vintage aesthetic in that aesthetic in that. So let's go hop into our John Deere this time. So we do have two big sections cut up already, so but we do have a grass field over here. But yeah, so press R1. And that's just us out. So yeah, the debater has no options or animations in that, so there we go. Got a selection of grass. And this will fill up very quickly just because of the size of the swath I've got, so there we go, that is filled. Now you need to unload the bailer or bell, sorry. Oh yeah, there's no automatic unloading, so all this is automatic. So 
There we go. Triangle once again to close the back. Oh yeah, shot off again one more time. So you're bathing, you're bathing, you're bathing. Once you get to your full and that's so a three and a half thousand litres. Unload the bell. And there we go. Because yeah, wait a minute, it did say three thousand litres in mod hub, didn't it? Or the mod description, so yeah, it says three thousand litres, so maybe that's for like straw nets. I don't know, but anyway, so once again, pull that back up. So yeah, we're done with that, so let's pull over here, back onto our concrete so we can have a little more of a look at it in detail. But yeah, so nice detail on that. Again, I love the animations, like the belts and that, it all works and that. Can't see no issues with the animations and that. So yeah, overall, nice little quality one on that. So that is the Lizard Z261 by Clonic. Next. Now for the Brantner TA T3071 Power Push Plus. This is by Ashi Wassel. 3.87 MB downloads, and we got two configurations of this. So we've got a normal trailer, and you have the version that is a manure spreader. So the normal pusher is 34,000 years, the manure spreader is 25,000 years. But yeah, before we get further into that, so you find this first of all under Tools and Traders. So yeah, go over here, 44 grand initially to buy, so yeah, 25 or 34,000 years. Weigh 7.2 tons, slot count is 7, goes down to 1. Oh yeah, the mug spreader is 12 meters to work with at 9 miles an hour. And as you can see, it holds pretty much everything you can have, so got the standard and the mug spreader version. So with the standard, you've got wheel brands, trailer board, different wheels, twin radials and that, Michelin's. Continentals, Mitas, BKTs, which I prefer, and yeah, back to first lines, and then the lizard net. Make our option, so you got custom of green, black, orange, or red. Then you got your basic color palette. And for the rims, pretty much the basic color palette, like so. And yeah, for the muck spreader, it's additional. Three grand, so that is from 44 to 64 grand. Configurations are obviously the same now, so let's have a little look here. So, yeah, overall, first impressions nice little quality one on that. I like the detail of it, and I do like the flap on this box spreader, which we'll have a look at in a sec. But, yeah, so the trader pulls pretty much really well now. So, you hop into our John Deere now, so. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, pulls pretty well. Does affect the trim radius ever so slightly. And we have to help me open up a sec. So yeah, got options for tip back, so yeah, tip back left, or oh, sorry. Tip side back and tip side green door. So that's what the green door looks like. And that's what the back looks like. And there we go. Also, yeah, you got a little flap here. So, yeah, L1, right stick, up and down, does that. So, you can use this like a forge wagon if you wish. And then L1, R1, right stick, up and down, and just the position of the pin hook attacher as so. But, yeah, what I'm more interested in is the uh, muck spreader over here. So, yeah. Again, very same, very similar. So, all you need to unfold the back, so... So yeah, you got that sort of basic door now, as you see on the standard version. All you got the uh, mugs for a bit on the back. Same configuration as that. Also, you got also the dub application, if you wish. That will half your speed, but obviously you get the spreading done, so... Oop. Got a bit carried away there. May need a weight on this, so... Or at least a heavier tractor in that, so... There we go. We're a muck spreading. So yeah, that is normal. And then yeah, if we act activate double application rate, that puts the double application of fertilizer down. But obviously it halves your speed in that. Obviously, yeah, I'm gonna repeat that is where I be fertilized, we can sort of see it putting down. There we go, turn that off, fold it up. 
So you just go and drop this off. Very quick and easy to detach. And then yeah, go to our fertilizer net. Can't really tell because of how fucked up this bit here is, but can't see the bit we've done here. It's dub application, and then how we started off with was normal application that. So yeah, overall, nice detail in that. Really do like it. And one thing oh, I did not have a look, but I'll have a look now is does this have a rear attacher on the back? So head over here. Because yeah, there's no options for it, and no. Oh, no option, so you can't do a tandem trolley with this. But overall, good quality trolley in that. Didn't really use the Brackners too much in that, but this one, good quality one, really sick pricing, good weight in that. And it says permissible weight capacity is two sorry, 2,400 kilograms. And when it's empty, it is 6,600 kilograms or 6.6 .6 tons. And yeah, so yeah, optional rear view camera installed. Working camera from the Bergen Boss and Oscar 8599 is required for this function, so. Because yeah, I think that is a PC only mod. Because yeah, that's something that I, isn't on console and will be like, automatically downloaded. So yeah, only the cab in that, so. Yeah, potential in that, but some aspects of it is only for PC. But anyway, that is the Bratner TA-230-71 Power Push Plus. Next. Now for the Zizzard PB, this is by FSPT. 6.12 MB download. This is a simple trailer with a capacity of 8, 16 and 20,000 liters. So it's like 10 grand. And yeah, so you find this under tools, under trailers. Go towards the end. And there we go, we've got the PB, 10 grand. Weighs 2.4 tons, slot count is 6, goes down to 1, so you got your standard. To double that capacity is additional 2 grand, and go from 16,000 to 20,000 liters is additional 2 grand. So yeah, 14 grand for a 22,000 liter trailer. That ain't too bad on that. Also, you got the option there to tandem these if you wish. But yeah, here we are now in the flesh. So you got the two small ones emptied. Also, thankfully, these aren't swivel axles, so you can easy tandem these. So you've got tip side back, left, right, and green door. So, first of all, let's do the green door. I like so. Now we'll do tip side back. And from there, we'll go tip side left. So we see it opens at the bottom and then so tips in that. And then lastly, we'll go to tip side right. Like so. Hey, apart from that. So that does that. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So, yep, yeah, see, easy to get the tandem going. Usually with something like this, what I'll do is I'll dump this and then go for the third one to attach it at the front. But yeah, I want to try to attach these if I can, so... Oh, gone over a bit wonky there. So there we go, just minor corrections. Like so, and then yeah. You can have a road train of these, so... I think, yeah, 14 grand for a 20,000 year capacity trader. Yeah, there's better, better deals if you look on the bottom of that, but for a very simplistic, very well done, there's a brand trailer in that. Not say, decent little trailer in that. Movability in that, so when you go zigzag in that, not too bad. Doesn't catch, doesn't jackknife itself. And there we go, not too bad, and not too shabby indeed. So yeah, that is the Lizard PB by FSPT. Next. Now for another simplistic trailer, this is the Lizard R505, this is by Hydraulic. 6.97 megabytes download, 5 slots goes down to 1 on console. And yeah, so it's like a low loader kind of trailer, but you find it's under tools, under miscellaneous. And yeah, still school to cross. Only 920 bucks in that to purchase. And yeah, it's a very simple train out, so yeah, got Lizard branding, Continental standard. And standard tools freeze. See, so yeah, that's, that's just the 
Doesn't do anything for the tires, but it's got some absolute nice digging rims and that, like stars and that. And then you get back to a Lizard, I think. So you get Lizard and Continentals. Chassis design or chassis colour, so that's the main frame. Design colour, that's going to be like the wooden that. And then you got room colour, so you got chrome, silver, grey, black. But you got all different kind of like older style kind of colouring. So yeah, it's more designed for, you know, potentially the older kind of style of maps, but for 120 quid in that, doesn't do too bad, so yeah, for this you can transport a couple of bells and I think on the mod hub and that's got like, yeah, three ram bells, also got some pallets of seeds I think it is, so that's three pallets on the mod hub, but yeah, so I've got a big bag, so there we go, pick you up, at the end of the day, a very simplistic trader, no bangs to missile, just does a job in that, so yeah, screw that across. You can have one, two there. And how many backs on? So you got one, two, three, four. Maybe squeeze five on so you can get ten big backs if you want. But yeah, at the end of the day, it depends on which bags you go for and if you got the pulling power for it. So, because yes, this will tip in that. Ooh. I like so a little bit, so. Obviously where it is a single axle, it does have that prone to tip in that. But yeah, so let's see you got your item on. It does have tension belt support. And yeah, that's pretty much it now. So let's see how it pulls. Yeah, not too bad. Turns well on the dot. Obviously there's no kind of you know ramps for so you can't re actually you can't use this to load equipment on. The like quad bike and that little scramblers and that maybe in that. By end day it's a very simplistic train at. And yep, not much to say. So yeah, that is the Lizard R505 by Hydraulic. Next. And now for the John Deere bucket, this is by Ada Modern ABP team, 1.24 megabit sound loads. And what this is, it's a front loader bucket, sorry, wheel loader bucket for the wheel loaders. You know it says John Deere, but I think with like the CSE pack you can get adapters for Take hander to wielder's holes and that, so you can use the brand new John Deere, uh, what's it, take hander pack and that, the 3403 I think it is. But anyway, so you find these under wielder's tools, and yeah, slot count is 2 go sound to 1, 5 grand, weighs 806 kilograms, and you got a couple of capacities of standard, which is 3,500 litres, or a million litre capacity. And yeah, because this is a the modding, got all the colours in the world to choose from. So yeah, main colour changes the bottom of the blade, and design colour changes the actual main body. But anywho, so yeah, I think this one here is the standard one. So yeah, we've got a couple of Volvos in that. So yeah, that does look well suited. Very large bucket, but not overly huge enough for the wheel loader. Oh yeah, so I got a little hole of silage over here. Get rid of help me in your sec. And there we go. Very easy scooping net. You can dump here, fair enough. And there we go. However, if we go into this one here, this is the minion bucket, so Obviously, I think we've got like three million these of silage here. We've got no silage now, a lot of chaff. So, yeah, let's just go and scoop it along. And towards here, we are absolute demolishing. Not too many issues, you know, picking up in that. So, there we go. Right to the ground. And, yeah, so we'll quickly pick this up. Very quickly, and already at 429,000 years. You have to just go across here like so. There we go, 500, 600. Try to go through it all in one push now, 700. Nah, I think he just got a little push to that, but I don't see the point in that. So this is very easy to pick up items in that. But yeah, I want to get to a mill because I want to see the discharge rate that so there we go at a million and 
we have a look at our least items. So in terms with weight and that, so under wheel of the tools, weight 901, 806 kilograms. So yeah, there is a bit of a weight in that with the realistic one that, but with the unreal capacity, the weight stays at, was it 8.1 tons I said? Or yeah, well not 8.1 tons, 800 kilograms I meant. <laughs> But well, yeah, with that done, let's see how quick this empties. Actually, you know what? Not too bad, actually. It's not just like randomly dumping. We get 10,000 litres, what, every 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 3 seconds and that, so... 10,000 litres over 3 seconds? Not too bad, actually, I think, to be fair in that. Extreme capacities in that, and... That's going to be like the theme for this mod review with extreme brick whips and capacities and that. But yeah, because it's either modding, it's a very good quality mod. Do like the detail in it, so have a little quick closer look. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's very simple now in terms of what it is and what it does. But it's done right now. You've got the custom colours and that, which is always a plus. But anyway, it's like it's the John Your Bucket by Adol Modding ABP Team. Next. Now for the random low loader removable neck. This is by Server Text Antique Modding. 36.83 megabytes to download. And what we've got here is a low loader random one branded. But this has some unique options. That. So we've got two different ones here. One with a ladder, one without. I think we have a look. These are slot counts. And that. I think, again, I forgot to write down slot count. So. We have a look at that. So yeah, these are two slots on console. These do come like split up into different items that so this comes as well when you first purchase it. But then you have the option to detach the neck header section here. So then you don't necessarily need a ramp on the back like I've got on this one here on the three axle one. But yeah, so on the two axle, for example, this one could just move that back and then this will unfold. But yeah, so first of all, you find this under tools, under low loaders. But yeah, I think that last mod mod section I did frowns me out, so I do apologize there. But anyway, so yeah, random two axle and three axle with the mobile neck and that. 25 grand and three grand respectively. Configurations are going to be pretty much the same, so different builds and that. So you've got iron wheels, iron wheels two, three. Tubeless wheels and aluminium wheels or aluminum if you're American. Simple aluminium and back to standards. And yeah, quite similar now. Got the random six spokes and that. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Accessories, no. Spare tire, rear spare tire, two tires, rest for the sugar cane machine. Spare tire and a rest. Dismounted tires, fully dismounted tires or no. And yeah, so for those wheels, you can have different kind of brands now. So that's just the color of the rims. War tank, no or yes. And yeah, you got the rear ramp. So you got rear ramp with springs, a hydraulic rear ramp, a high prone pneumatic rear ramp or none. Then yeah, you got signage plates, no or yes. So that's going to be at the back. So We've got the one on the chassis, oversize, place on the ramp, place on the ramp and oversize or none. See, so yeah, I think if we go with the chassis one, and then yeah, without the ramps, that's how it looks like. Now for there, you got your side signaling, so you got standards, triangles, flagpole supports or red flags, yellow flags, and then back to standards. The bumpers, so you got bumper model one, two, and back to one, so. Got the round tubes or a flat plate. Auxiliary supports, no or yes. So that's going to be the extra supports there at the front end. I think I'll recommend that. And then, yeah, you've got the option to do a tandem of these if you want, no or yes. Floors with floor one, two, three, four, then metal floor, back to wooden. Main colour, so custom colours that. So you've got reds, oranges, yellows, and greens. Blacks, pinks, and all sorts of other colors. So, main body is that. 
bumper is like so. Accessory is going with a nice hot pink. Let's go with blue. So, I think that's this, these bits here. So, yeah, that's the supports and that, and the rest, I think. And then, yeah, red colors. Similar again, very, very many custom colors. So, I think, yeah, if we go into our lorry over here. See, so yeah, I'll show what I mean by you can disconnect and connect these two now. So, on to the two axle one. You back this up. Yes, yeah, so we'll see there on top left, we've got option for the one and in the rear. So, control group one, so that's for the rear ramp. Side extensions, auxiliary supports. So, yeah, if I go to the rear one and then detach. See the ramp just drops down in that, and then yeah, you can pull off and then hook up to a another trailer if you want to. Or if I say detach that a sec, okay, you can't do that. So nope, can't do that either. So fair enough. Actually, if I say do this. So there we go, quickly swap lorries and that, so, because yeah, I wouldn't just want to use that. Whilst this other one is purely a demonstration, so, but yeah, I think we've got like 50 tons there loaded up with a combined harnesser and a forage grabber. Yeah, because we'll see, just simply do that, then back up, and yeah, without losing my head, which I am in the rate of losing at the moment. So yeah, we'll back this up, then yeah, let's we'll hook this up, then you can tension belt it, and then off you go. Transport whatever you want. And then yeah, for the control groups themselves, so for, for the main one here, press X to raise and lower the trailer supports. So yeah, just simply like loves it onto the ground a bit. Yeah, got tension belts, and that's it. And on to the rear, so yeah, round right pumping in. Actually, you know what, we could need to... See, as I say, for the rams, you need to obviously the trailer with the rams, so... We'll get us hooked up. So yeah, go to control group one. So yeah. R1, and then right stick does that. And yeah, simply that is it. Control group two, so extension, so tension belts are still on. So yeah, to do that you need to press R1 and then right stick up and down, that brings in and out the little support decks. And control group three does the auxiliary support, so but see that going up and down. It just helps make life a bit easier than that, so especially with loading and unloading heavy equipment than that. Especially this kind of configuration, I got like 50 tons on the back of here, so mainly you need all the support you need when unloading and offloading. But yeah, so back to control group one. Boom, there we go. So yeah, having all this weight does impact the steering. Even with a lorry that is what over a thousand horsepower. Yeah, it does affect the steering and that, but at the end of the day. So overall performs well in that, you know, it distributes weight perfectly well in that, and even with a 650 horsepower lorry that I used in testing, it was able to pull this at about, what, 20, 30 miles an hour? Yeah, I got bogged down when I was doing the hill climb in that, but overall, not too bad. But anyway, so that is the random loader removable neck by Surfertex and Teak Modding. Next. Now for the planter and the vegetable planter. This is by Princess Black. 47 kilobytes, a very small mod to download. And what this is, it's a adaption of the base game with the addition of the maize, sunflower, soybeans, cotton, all that. But also you can plant the DLC fruit, beets, and that parsnip and carrots. So that does require the premium expansion to be activated. On top of that, it has a Unrealistic capacity, so first of all, you find this under tools, under planter. So, yeah, first of all, we look at the uh, base game one. So, we're looking at the Valstra Tempo and the Coverland. So, yeah, just simple 
amazing at. Then if we go across, so let's see if we can do the premium expansion stuff, along with popular and cotton at, as well as potatoes. Don't think that one could dump potatoes, right? No, so yeah. We can sort of see here, oh, you've got your usual capacities. Also, you got the 50,000 and 35,000 in your capacity, respectively. Apart from that, top speed or work speed is 9 miles an hour, compared to the base game, which is pretty much, actually, no, that's slower. But yeah, it does make up in the capacities and that, and horsepower is exactly the same. Both of these are 22 slots, so yeah. Got your capacity, so default and the adapted to consumption, or the unrealistic capacity. And then main colour and that, so obviously you got the usual colours and that it comes with space game. And all that does unlock the base game colour palette, so you can proper tweet this out and that, so main body does that, design colour does the frame of the tanks, covers is the covers, and then yeah, got the so if we go with a brown. Design colour, that does the top cover, and then that's the rims, does the rims, and yeah, same for the Valstrad, different wheel brands and that. And this one got the adoption to the consumption without fertilizer, or just a simple adoption for the consumption with the fertilizer and that, so again, depends on what you want, so we have a little look here, so I'm going to test one of these. So right, yeah, gone and took us over to the field, and this section's now been recorded afterward because, yeah, I didn't have time now. that, so. So we'll see, we've got a little field section over here now, so if you go and unfold this. And yeah, so basically it just functions as the base game one. The only difference is the, again, the colours and that, the capacities and that, and with the option to have with or without the fertiliser and that, so. And as well as the additional crops like the maize and, that, and the premium expansion stuff, so that is a nice addition to have. I think ideally would be love to have a key planter that's like this, but you know have all the grains and that, so you can have all the seeds and that. You see, we are planting sugar cane, and I'm pretty are these direct drills. I don't think these are. No, this one ain't. And yeah, we can actually quickly find out because. I have forgotten briefly. So yeah. Yeah, by the looks of it, new no, these aren't direct drills and that. Which is a bit of a shame again, a feature that I would love to have, but again I'd be sort of a bit nitpicky in that, so But yeah, so we'll go into the if it's this convertible one here. So yeah, go and get us hooked up. So yeah, crops and that. Yeah, potatoes and just basic stuff and that. So this what it is, so falling is unable to attach her to this joint, so wait a minute, so folding is not allowed to whilst the vehicle is attached to Ah that's why because yeah we're in the transport mode, aren't we? So yeah. Yeah, completely forgot about this, so this is how it works. So you position it like so to the field. Yeah, this is just basic now and yeah. Just completely forgot how this works base game wise. It's been a while since I've used this item in base game, so there we go, transport to the field. Now we're unfolding. Oh yeah, also of course you do have to get ridge markers and that, so if anything we won't have this one open. But yeah, so even though this one ain't a direct drill, you can still use this like a fertilizer spread in the way now, because yeah. See they going down. And you can't just use this as a bit of a weird, you know fertilizer spreader net. So yeah, we'll get to the end. And again, bridge marks that. Nothing I've really used that in FS22 all that much, so but yeah, how bridge markers work, you line up in that. Me to do that, so yeah. Alright, oh, yeah, let's see how it works next. But yeah, obviously, it's ain't a direct draw now, it's getting on just overcomplicating things and that. So, overall, nice little quality model in that. Yeah, we'd we'll love to have more of the basic greens and that, but at the end of the day, I'm just being very nitpicky in that. Because I think this is a planter and a vegetable planter. 
is a, a cedar, so it makes sense that because, yeah, cedars and planters are different than that in real life, so yeah. Overall, nice quality mods, but a maze, that is the planter and vegetable planter by Princess Black. Next. Now on to our sort of redonkulous sections of this mod review, Nat, and yeah, so this includes three mods we'll be looking at very shortly. But yeah, starting off with something very simple, we got the Bailey Bowser, this is by Ross N Mods. 16.94 megabytes to download, and what this is, it's a basically a Bowser trailer net, bit of a different one. Actually, I do like the look of this, you know, it's a Bowser on like a flatbed and that, so didn't have to deal with swinging axles and that. It's a very firm, rigid trader. So you got your two axles, and yes, yeah, so you do have options for tension belts and that. For a second, I thought there was a free axle version, but no, I've got the wrong ones mixed up. I do apologise if you hear rain in the background, it's absolutely chucking it down here in the UK at the moment. But yeah, I need my window open because it gets hot here in the office, so I do apologise about that. But anyway, so yeah, first of all you'll find this under tools, under animals, go towards the end, and this is going to be something... I wish we had this a lot sooner in FS22, but this is something I'll be using going forward, so here we are, 29,000, and slot counts is 6 goes down to 1. So yeah, configuration is that. Got 80,000 a year. Very realistic now for 29 grand. Yeah, not too bad. However, if you're a bit of a fan of unrealism in that, do you have the unrealistic, which is 1 million the years? That means it has a false weight, so when that's filled up to the max, that weighs what I think. Yeah, it goes from 5.2 tons to about 5.7 tons when I had like diesel in with 18,000 the years. Or it could be something else, but with the unrealistic. It tops up about 5.7 tons, so you don't have to deal with the actual real weight of a million litres of diesel. That's what I love about modding that. You can have little tweaks about that. Anyways, Will Brand's got BKTs, Trailerboard Standard, Wides, Michelin's, Reschlein's, Standard, Wides, Continental, so yeah, your usual tyres. Now, for your attachers, you've got your basic UK pin hook attacher, or you've got your Schmarmuder cap ball. So yeah, basically just your ball point. So your pin hook or your ball point joint tinge belts, yes or no. So that is that's it's a little section here at the front. So something like this, you can get very creative, I think. So you can have like a massive Bowser or massive fill tank, like the one like the Global Palette by A2 Studio. You can have the unrealistic one if you want. Have two hundred thousand years. Have the realistic version of this and just keep on topping up as you go along. So I think that will work. Main colour, this is going to be your main frame, so purple. So yeah, change this main frame and the hubs, as you can see. And tank, so yeah, custom you got tank green, chrome, and bailey green. Nice to see more bailey mods in FS. Hopefully in FS25 we see more bailey mods than that. But yeah, so chrome's got chrome, matte black, matte grey, and your bailey grey. Along with that, you've got your basic basic game colour palette, so... There we go, nice little crimson stand out there a little bit. But yeah, so I've got two configurations here, so I've got the 18,000 litres of milk, and a million litres of diesel, so... We have a look here a sec, so go to our animals. But yeah, see, they both weigh 5.2 tonnes, even with the milk in there, so... Actually, the... I thought I said 5.7 tons, did I? I meant 5.2, apologies there, so I do love out that, so that means you wouldn't have issues with pulling this. Yes, I'm using a like, 400 or 900 horsepower tractor here, but this does work the gist of it, so yeah, so you got your 18,000 years of milk, and it's very easy to unload, so go to our cell point. Literally, the unload fill point area is around here at the front. So I think what we'll do is, once this is sold, because I've got an idea, so if we go to our pallets and that, we'll get some fertilizer now, or something like that. So there we go, yeah, sort of a realistic setup here, so you know what is filled up with herbicides, got a couple of IBCs here, so, so yeah, I think how this works, so yeah, you can sort of see here. Trigger to unload, so like the trigger error is absolutely massive. And then yeah, so you can just empty it as you go along. 
And then, yeah, once you sort of move a bit further back, I thought this would fill up like so, but apparently not. Maybe if I just removed one. Hmm. So yeah, that is liftable now. So, pop into there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's got to be a like, bang in the center to fit up. So, yeah. Again, that could be just more of a me thing rather than anything else. But yeah, I do think I've got it downloaded. So, actually have a look at my mods and that. We're having them scrolling through. So, it'll be G for global and that. So, Lizard. So, yeah, I didn't have it on my mod map and that. But there's the, the global palette bag and that, whatever it's called by 82 Studio. That, yeah, can have like 200,000 a year, so you get the idea on that, so many potential uses of this. But anyway, that like, is the Baby Bowser by Ross M. Mod. Top quality mod as always. Love to see the Baby brand represented in the game. Anyways, let's head on to our next mod where it gets absolutely just more redonkulous. And I say redonkulous because we've got two mods here, so first we're looking at the Bio Beta Pro, this is by GMNG Joy. 1.53 megabytes to download. In terms with slot counts, it is 8 slots. And yeah, so you've got two betas here. So yeah, it's basically this is the pro version of the basic game Addison by Beta. So normally the Bio Beta would do like wood chips and that for the popular bells and that. However, we got a cotton version over here. I think that's the one I got here in yellow. So you got three bell sizes, 125, 150, and 108 same bells for the poplar. So that is four, six, and eight thousand years respectively. For the cotton bells, it is 2,600, 3,200, and 3,800 years. And all the custom bells can be picked up with the base game equipment, such as the Anderson RBM 2000. But wait, there's more, baby, because yeah, it starts off about. Yeah, 99,150 horsepower. Basic width working with, as you can see here, is 2.5 meters. However, it has a variable pickup width support, so this means it's got some modes in that. So, default is default, so 2.5 meters. The bonus pickup, that is additional 2 meters, so that is 4.2 meters. The extended pickup is plus 4 meters, so that is 6.5 meters in total. And if for whatever reason you're absolutely redonkulous bullshit crazy, you got the virtual wind rower, and that is a 20 meter, so not plus 20, that is a 20 meter work width. And it says on the mod description note, in rare cases when saving and leaving the game, coming back with a variable pickup width work mode selected, it will appear that the pickup area has not been adjusted correctly. To remedy this, just cycle through the work modes and again to your selection and continue one. Fair enough. Each item costs an extra pound more than the base game. Works a bit faster and it has a full color selection. Ah yeah, so there is a link to GitHub and that, so that is like the license and the feedback and that, so feel free to look at that in your own time. So yeah, we'll have a look here. So you find this under Tools, under Baders. So there we go, up here, Baders. Go towards the end, so yeah. 99,500. And yeah, it's actually 101, not... Because, yeah, wait a minute, it says 101 on the mod hub, it's saying 500 in-game. I'm not sure that again, minor updates could be needed there, so... At the end of the day, 101 bucks versus 1 buck, what's the difference? Because, yeah, so... You, <laughs> anywho, you've got your pro and your con one, so you can see... 11 miles an hour versus 6. 200 horsepower versus 150 horsepower. Weighs is exactly the same, has bigger bell options, so both of these are pretty much exactly the same, so yeah, we'll set up standard white main colour. You got your base game colours along with your black. And that is it. So you can really get customized. So main colour is gonna change the hob and the doors and that. Or sort of the rear of the doors. And you've got some doors there on the sides. And let's go with a yellow for design. So that's going to be like the main frame, the main body. And then, yeah, room colour red. And for Cot 1, it's going to be exactly the same. 
it does have sort of presets of different snap, so do get mixed up, but again, you can get creative this, so let's have a little look. So I've got some cotton over here and I've got some poplar over there, so but yeah, this does get very interesting, so sort we'll of see here on the bottom left actually, you know what? Because this has different options, I'll just go with yeah, I'll go with the cloth here because yeah, no custom fe features that, so I do get mixed up with things like this from the tractor net. Anywho, once again, gets baby hooked up, so yeah, we've got the cotton one here, so got a nice section of cotton here, and if I look at my PDA on the bottom left, so 1925 goes up to, so yeah, we've got plenty of room to work with to showcase this, so I think let's go into the middle. Yeah, there is weed, so yieldage ain't going to be the best. The work crop destruction is off, so... Anywho, looking at the left, so you've got L1, turn on, automatic drop, and all that, lower and that. However, so L1, right stick left to right. That does the flap there at the front. So you can lower it, and then raise and lower that. L1, R1, nothing there, R1. So R1, right stick up and down. So down makes the beta go right. So yeah, what this means is, as you go long, so you can adjust it so it can be directed behind you. Which, if you're a hand crop destruction on, I don't know why you would do this, but basically something like this, you'll sort of like go around in circles and that, and then sort of loop around back together, or go up and down on the edges and that, and then eventually meet in the middle. However, we're not going to be doing that today, so I want this adjust to the middle. Yeah, it's going to be close enough, so back up. And you sort of see, so R1, R3 does your bell sizes, so for cotton, remember, it is 2,600, 3,200, and 3,800 years respectively, so I think I'm going to go with the biggest bell size, possibly. Actually, let's go with the small one, so automatic drop is on. So yeah, let's just start with default mode and that. As you can see, default works as intentional. However, press R1, L3, we've got the bonus pickup, so that is an additional two meters we're working with. For see, it's going to be a bit wider than that. And then a bit more clear than that, the extended version. There we go. So we'll see the difference now. It's getting slightly bigger and bigger. And then lastly, go to that. So yeah, you can sort of see the difference here. And I think I estimated the size of these bells now, or like potentially of how much cotton I got. Yeah, I know I'm using yieldage and that. And then yeah, back again, L3, go back to one. So yeah, that is absolutely awesome. And I want to see what this looks like once we've got this filled up, so... Actually, I'm glad I got the small bell, because I think we're going to be here for a bit longer than that, so... This is, like, automatically dropping that, so... Okay, you will need to stop, fair enough. Drop rate, decent enough. And there we go, got our bear and that, so... Or bells and that, so... I do have the Liverpool Bells mod enabled, and that is 200 kilograms, so that is bang on the limit of what it is you're allowed to lift in that, so like 199.9 kilograms, perfect. But yeah, that's just a bit oh, too heavy in that, make it a kilogram lighter please. <laughs> Anywho, so that is the Cotton Bader, I will show off the popular one, because I do love doing popular Bells. I know when I did Comson Farm for the first time, when that first came out, whenever it did, I was doing popular bells, like popping poplars. So, there we go, got a popular field over here. So, yeah, this time, we'll go with the biggest bell size. So, once again, there we go. First roll pick up in that. So, lower and then turn on. And no, this is sugar cane, right? 
Whoopsie. I thought this was popular. It ain't. Balls. So yeah, I don't have a proper set, right? Uh, have a look. Houston got a problem here. Cock. And there we go, like magic and that. One month later, we got popular and that. So, now we've got the popular here. So, now let's go and demonstrate this. So, popular is ready. Big bells and that. Because I like big bells and I cannot lie. And yeah, wood chip bells for the win. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to be the problem with the big bells. But yeah, so now we've got these bells here. So you'll see the difference in sizes and that, so... There we go. If I can just bring them back a little bit. Maybe I should turn the automatic dropping off, because... I doubt this is going to be liftable, right? Oh no! 1.3 tons! Nope. 1.8 tons for the big bell. But yeah, let me try this again. Again, get these perfect bells and that. So, turn off with 125. But yeah, sort of see with the this one here in particular, yeah, you're gonna have any issues with you know picking up wood chips that. There we go. I think that's the same one again. So. Yeah, 4,000 here, so bear me a sec whilst I get these bells correct to tens. Have a nice little demonstration here. So yeah, automatic is off. There we go. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. It's just like coordinate things that. So yeah, 180, 150, and 125. So there is a difference in sizes. But yeah, just like we're for the cult in that. It seemed like 200 uh, kilograms of that for the one. But the fair that was was one, and cotton is a compared to you know how these are done. You know, for example, when you're being these, these are all very densely packed up together, so it being super heavy makes sense. And then yeah, so you can collect these with a beater and that, bell loaders and that. Again, depends on what you got on that. So if I go to our bell loaders, I think basically wise there is one for the buy bells, right? Uh, Perhaps not. I actually know what. I should want to test that set because I've never done this before. I don't think. Or have I done it on Compton Farm? I know this is going to be a bit of a diversion. As to make what? I know Mississippi's uh, mod review that was two hours long. I know this is going to make it a bit longer. But again, it's things like this. I want to test that. So. This is why when I do my mod reviews now, I know I can be behind. DJ go out, he does his own things and that. The uniform guy does the mods individually in that. And actually, speaking of which, I will be redoing. Actually, no. Depends on how I implement it. I have or will be redoing the. Uh, the stupid SMS Grassland Roller Pack and that because. Yeah, the mod hub did not help. DT Mod Passion. You know, I've had issues with it with his other mods and that. You know, with the whole. Controversy in that with the uh, cast was it cast on 18? But anywho, so yeah, whatever, yeah, you can load these bells up. So this is actually good. I know it said on the mod description it could do it. Con bells, I thought so, but yeah, so let's see how it works. In that and actually, one thing I want to test, which I very much doubt, is the different sizes. So yeah, once that's unloaded, ah, yeah, as suspected, different bell sizes ain't allowed, which is fair enough, makes sense in that. Because, yeah, I think, yeah, the column was the smallest one, but, again, this should work, you know. For example, you've got large grass bells in that, you can load a mixture of it. So I think you can load different bells in that, as long as it's the same size. That's all that matters, but overall, nice quality mod, I know this has been a huge diversion in testing that. But yeah, things like this, I've got, this is actually, this mod pack, thank you, oh, no, sorry, uh, this, yeah, mod pack, that, the Buy Beta Pro by GMNG Joy. This is giving me a good idea for a video, Nat. Uh, but anyways, that is separate, Nat. But anyways, that is the Buy Beta by GMNG Joy. Now, let's just look at one of his other abomination creations he's done. And it is this, so it's a small section of the variable pickup width. This is again by GMG Joy. 
only 56 kilobytes. 56 kilobytes. Less than a megabyte to download. That's like half a megabyte in that. But yeah, so again, like with the bio, bio beta that we just looked at, this has a variable pickup bit for that. And that means all your base game stuff that you love and know can be used with that same system we just looked at. So again, if I go to my mods and that, so if I go down to the bottom, because it's going to be V, variable pickup and that, so all the base game betas and that, as you can see, all the base game forest wagons. Even the stone picker in that has the option. Also, you have the redonkulous capacity. We'll get to that in a bit. I thought I said 20 million notes or 20,000 years, but. Yeah, so see, yeah, the little forest pickup in that, so you can pick up the grass. Also, you can see the capacities at the bottom, so the baiters are the baiters in that. They have been slightly turbocharged in that, so. So I think if we go to our base game baiters and that, so for example, the little baby baiter, 7 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, 10, 10, yeah, so 7 to 10, 7 for the baby bell. So yeah, we've got this little bell stuff, and I don't want those. They're so last year and that. Including these, so yeah, there we go, variable pickup and that. And that's also about boom stuff. Yeah, 12, 12 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. These have been turbocharged in that. And yeah, let's just again have a quick look on the scripts. I think it says additional, it has to fill the capacity, also acceptable bell upgrades and that, release the discharge, but you have to pay the extra capacity. Yeah, sorry, sorry for cutting there. Yeah, just looking at the mod script, and I haven't fully tested this in that, in depth in that. But yeah, so you didn't miss the other mod by GMG joining that, the bio beta and that, so with this these do have the options of the default pickup and that, so I think for like the baiters and the forest wagons are around about the 2, 2.1 meter mark on average they are, so yeah, that's the default, the bonus pickup is additional 2 meters, so 4, four meters let's just say, the extended pickup that is an additional 4 meters, so until that is 6 meters off pickup width, and they have the virtual wind rower 20 meters, so that's actually quite nice indeed to have. So you got all the baiters and that, all the forest wagons and that. So I've got a selection here. So we do have a little bit of grass field over there. So, so yeah, it says here additional any VPW tool has the field capacity. But yeah, so we've got to pay the cost of it. So Toggle work mode, so yeah, send the pick up in that. Because, yeah, so I want to just have a look, because it says additional cost. Apart from, you know, just in general, uh, the cost of the beta itself, which is an extra pound, dollar, or whatever. So, there we go. Big bells at 240. Yeah, 240 in that. Does this have like a bonus capacity in that? Ooh, me likey this and that, so sort of see I'm roughly doing this, so how big are these bells? Six and a half thousand liters. I do have the liftable bells mod, so that weighs one point one tons. If I go to our bells and that So yeah, wait a minute, it says Selectable ah wait a minute selectable capacity upgrades ah no it's not this that these are the forge wagons dang it so yep yeah. obviously I'll not go over all of these in detail now that but again look at the forge wagons and that so it's ten miles an hour ten miles an hour puny capacities and that oh that's been updated that's uh, I'll be a separate video that I'll do after this whilst I'm editing it. So yeah, ah, so yeah, you have the capacities upgrade, so normal is like 60,000 years, 32,000 years, or 161,000 years. Ah uh, yeah, think something like this, that is absolutely amazing. So, for example, with the class one here, you've got your standard one, so you want to keep it simple. Have a slight extra pickup in that, so you don't miss those awkward swaths in that. The bonus pickup is actually quite 
I think that's going to be very nice for a lot of people. They have to keep it simple with the social additive tank, double capacity, double capacity with the additive tank, redonkulous capacity, and redonkulous capacity with the tank. So, I'm not sure which one I got on that, because I want to look at the Colossus one. Because, yeah, if that's got a redonkulous capacity in that, it does have the option, but I'm not sure if this one has, because... Yeah, I just quickly set it a couple on that, so... There we go. No, this doesn't have it, so bear me a sec. So, yeah, I don't think that includes the size additive. But yeah, so... Let's go with the extended pickup in that. Lower and all that. Again, something like this, I think it would be helpful for a lot of people. For example, like these kind of swaths and that. So, I do have some huge swaths. In terms of its consumption, that. Yeah, it's not actually that much, actually, using that. So, yeah, it seems to go quite well in that. Overall, not too bad. But yeah, so I think like that is going to be an absolute game changer in that. And I know. That's going to be the biggest thing, it's not. What I say is, I think there's been like some problems with FS32 to some people now with how stupid, you know, with some of these capacities and other, you know, unrealistic and all this and that equi equipment and that. And I was trying to look for one particular mod or one particular vehicle and that. Yeah, I do have it, so go to our forest horse and that. That's what I was looking for. Completely went past it. So yeah, obviously we're looking at the pickup header and that, so... But yeah, I know things got a bit carried away in FS22, I think, you know, with unreasonable capacities and that. But at the end of the day, I think, on that front now, I think it's a case of... Down to how you play the game now, at the end of the day is how you want to play it. Again, things like this and that, I'll say... First of all, i say for a lot of people, I'd say represent the average FS player and that. Go with, like, the bonus pickup and that, so you've got a bit of extra width and that, so... For example, with this pickup here, so we're having you know, just having the normal pickup width here, which is a f I like to say three meters base game in that. Yeah, three meters in that. So have a little bonus that for like, the extra swaths and that, especially more so for the bigger, not basically like forest pickups and the bigger than that, to be fact. So there we go. Let's see how this does. Again, default now. See, we're slightly missing bits here on the side, so... If I just go with the bonus one... You know, I'll just make sure I'm getting every bit of that swath in that. But it doesn't have to be stupid. I need to extend it, you know, an extra 4 meters, that's 7 meters in that. Maybe to like, the untrained eye in that. You're thinking, yeah, no, just cruising along, picking up everything in that, and just cracking it along. So yeah, for a very small, like, fall size now, 56 kilobytes, this should be in everyone's mod folder, I think, to be honest, in that. Again, you don't have to use it all in that, use it how you want to. But yeah, so we're looking again to some more of these equipment that, so... Again, baiters, forge wagons, and stone pickers, you'll find these. And yeah, let's go across, so yeah, I think we'll go to the forge wagons, since I don't have to... Over so much in that. You do have like the basic color options, basic color palette in that. Also, you have access to like, the custom colors for each brand, I think. So, Pondra in that. So, also, you got the basic Pondra red. But also, you got the Pondra yellow, Pondra white, the Rapid. I never have used these in that. Or the Schoolmaster in that. So, if you look at the base game, that. I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, color palette is basic, basic in that. So it just unlocks it, 116,500. Yeah, so literally, this one is one buck and that, more in that, so... And even then, 40 unrealistic capacities in that, if you want. Only a handful of grand in that, so... Overall, I cannot fault the mod. This is, a, again, another top mod. Highly recommend to download in that. 
But yeah, I think that's covered everything. You know, debaters, Forge Brackets, and I just want to give you a little personal opinion on that because I do want to try to explain some of these now because I know this may not be to everyone's cup of tea when you, especially when you look at some certain people, how they show these kind of mods off, you know, 50 meter harvest snap, bang, all done, job's done. But this can be used now for simple, realistic player that just with that slight tweakness of get rid of that fizzy just pain yeah, especially with the bears now, you know. Having like a big swath like this. Actually if I Yeah, if I get the bait hook up again, I'll show you exactly what I mean that. Rather than you know, just talking and waffling, which I got a funny thing to do, <laughs> funny enough of that. But yeah, I think like the big chrome baiters and that, these are slightly bigger than that, so So yeah. Default win row that. I know it's going to be a bit hard to see that, but... You know, let's say you try to go in a straight line. Am I missing bits? I think for this I'm not, sorry to say, because of the grass and that. But yeah, definitely if you use like, the round bay and that, you'll be missing bits that, because this does have the slight bigger way. I think it's like 2.4 meters, I think, or 2.3, I think I heard once before. They made to get the point in that, enough waffling, I've got more mods to look at, this is very good into the mod review now, because this is only the equipment now, I've still got the vehicles to look at, and all these buildings as you can see, and as you can see, some unique buildings in that, but anyways, that is all of our tools and equipment to look at, and this is the variable pickup with by GMG Joy. Now let's go look at some of these buildings, shall we? Now for the Lizard Cyclop, this is by Nico321. It is 13.77 megabytes to download, and I do apologise about the timings and all this because I completely forgot about this and that, so I did all the other items and that, started selling some of the equipment and that, and then, yep, yeah, I forgot how I'd done this as I was about to start to do the building sections of this mod review, but anyway, this will probably be the final mod if not the second to last mod, but anyway, so got a bit of an interesting bit of kit here, this is a trail loader and that, so you can use this to basically it's designed for products now, like things like manure, silage, sugar beets and that, very small bucket capacities and that, but for small scale farming, this is maybe all you need in that, so first of all you find these under tools, under miscellaneous, so slot count is for the actual Cyclop itself, it is 6 slots on console, goes down to 1, weighs 6.2 tons. Then follow along you got the clamshell bucket, that is uh, 1 slot on console, goes down to 1. And then you get the mirror fork, bucket for potatoes and beets, and size fork, these are 2, goes down to 1. But really for this, again depends on what you use it for, I'm going to try to do a bit of logging with this, but Apologies about interruption, so anyway, so yeah, the clamshell, as I said, I'm going to try to do a bit of login, but for the clamshell bucket itself, 600 litres versus 700 and 800 litres respectively, for a compromise of 200 litres, you can use the clamshell bucket for everything, because if you look at the bottom, there's your basic crops, sugar beet, sugar beet cut, silage, nut wood chips, stones, middle feed and that, it does everything, so... So you may want to use like the mirror fork or something like the size fork, preferably in that for the logs. Now I'm going to try both. By the looks of it, I think the mirror fork would be best. So yeah, for all of these, you do come under a unique colour. So you've got grey, grey 2, grey 3, grey 4, grey 5, and wait, no more grey, so black, green, green 2, green 3, which is like a petrol green, I think that is. Green 4, like a John Deere. Then you get to like, your modern and also the like, classic kind of red. So you can have this very modern if you want to, you know, a modern small big equipment. Or just have something very classical. So oranges, again, that kind of faded orange. And then brown. So yeah, pretty much exactly the same for all of these. Just double checking. But anyway, so now onto the Cyclop itself. So yeah. Big bit of kit, so wheel has got standard, standard 2, so yeah, just different kind of tyres, a bit tonkier than that. Decals, you got all the decals, decals on the long arm, decals on the short arm, or no decals. For the line, so yeah, you haven't got a cabin, with a cabin or without. We'll keep the cabin because there is a colour configuration for this. Power takeoff or PTO, so you got the old style or new, so 
how this works, now it's all powered via a P2 shaft in that. There's no engine in this, so you'll need a tractor or a... There is like a PTO trailer that you can use in that. So yeah, you got the old type. Or yeah, got the water stride. So that basically that's the one, one that you'll see on most equipment. Now, for the colours in that, we've got roller frame colour. So, so it's red, so that's going to be the actual main arm and the, all the hydraulic errors in that. Doesn't change the hose colours in that. But the outside, like the pistons in that are all red. Frame colour will go green, so that changes the main frame body. Now, for the cabin, if you have the cabin, obviously this will change the cabin colour, so let's go with a nice orange. And then lastly, rims that, so obviously for your tyres. There we go, so I haven't really used this too much now, so I've got in sort of a John Deere green. Also got a little trailer over there because you can operate this via remotely, that, so obviously you can see attached to your vehicle with a turn on motor so literally anything you want to do you need a P2 shaft and that so we'll get the John Deere hooked up so I think I got the side fork here hooked up so then yep switch outside to the cab so yeah L1 right stick left to right does that just as the actual turn in and up and down raises the boom and that so very simple and that Oh yeah, so if you want to turn it on, I think yeah, if you have it off, it swings. But if you have it on, it does a bit of left swinging, I think. I'm not sure why that says turn on that. Because yeah, it's got a fill capacity in that, so again, go to miscellaneous now, in case I've missed something. So yeah, there's no like fill type in that, but. Yeah, it's this, so unless it's like fuel in that, maybe. But yeah, also you can also use this as it is in the cab of your equipment if you want. But yeah, I am curious about that. Is it diesel perhaps? Unless it's like a weight in that. But anyway, it's L1 and X, so that will fold and unfold, so that is basically the support arm in that, so they'll come. Or yeah, support legs and that. Actually, I need to have a look at that a sec. I am a bloody idiot. Of course, yeah, I forgot I got the bloody fork attached. The slightest fork attached. That's what the field type is at the bottom. Freak me. So, yeah. Anyways, R1. R1, up and down. Does the short arm there. So, it just extends out or brings it in. So, yeah, important to have those legs attached or extended out because... This can potentially tip if you are not too careful. And then yeah, R1 with right on the analog stick opens and closes. L1 R1 does nothing, so yeah, you can use this or yeah, go to wherever you want. So get your equipment ready. So yeah, let's say we're here Nat. Obviously you'll need uh, again a set of PTO Nat equipment, so ooh, okay want to do that so okay let's go fully open that so yeah this is the storage fork I think it is so yeah we'll do that if not too careful so I think we need to do is close this up oh okay careful so right you can just you know apparently you just go and collect stuff but yeah you need to open it So, if I try again, so I want to bring the long arm out. So that's its maximum length. So get that positioned and then down. So, yeah, when it's partially closed, it won't do anything. So you need to open it and then, yeah, drop it and then close it. There we go. Okay, it's having a bit of issues here. There we go. So, yeah, can be a bit fiddly in that. So, yeah, again, you may want to, you know, just, I don't know, use a loader in that because what's the price of these? Three and a half grand, and then let's say 540 equipment. So, four grand you're looking at. So, I'm not sure about base game wise. Yeah, front loaders and that. Again, depends on what you want to go with. Seven grand. 
but even things like something like a skid steer now i know there's cheap ones on the mod hub for what 25 grand 20 grand so yeah i think something for the high if you want to know that like items and that or empty i don't know like your silos and that or bunker silos because yeah this is a potential use for it to empty the top of the bunker side clamp so yeah we'll fold it up raise those legs so yeah, you can also just transport around like that if if you want to. Again, I'll probably use it in the ways it's not designed to, Nat. But anyway, so we'll extend those again. So you empty that. Now, something like this, I'm more likely to see to be used for, you know, beginning logging. Now, you know, you've got a small tractor, you know, this is a fairly modern one. This is a John Deere 6128 base game, Nat, so... I think that, and that is a small tractor now, 140 horsepower in that. But yeah, so, oh, look at that. We've got some logs here, so how I would do this, because yeah, I'm going to use this way how I would do. Most of these are like 6 meter logs, I think, how I pre cut them that. And I first set this mod map up, so let's go out of the cab into this. So yeah, I've got the silage fork, so this may be a not be the best one, so unfortunately there's no way to like pivot or rotate. I don't think so. Okay, turn it on now, because yeah, I'm trying to look ways. Yeah, can't really pivot that, so again that's a downside as well, so you need to get perfectly parallel, so I eat with logs and that. You want to be facing the ends when you're driving, so if I just fold Cyclops sec. Again, not the most utilitarian of logging equipment. I mean, I think in, as I said, the manure one would be best, so because yeah, because I'm not positioned at all well enough, so there we go. Something like that's close enough. So yeah, we'll bring the boom around. Yeah, again, there's no way that you know to, to pivot or rotate the head. Yeah, all I got is that, so can I lift the log? No. Let's try something else, so... Obviously you can detach and swap equipment sections on this, so... Yeah, I'm going to drop that down. Maybe if I try a small log, nothing to see there, so yeah. Let's go and grab this one here, so there we go. Very easy to detach that, so that's one plus side at least, so. Oh, no, not that. I was looking at what equipment I had attached, so. What was it that I attached? The manure fork, so this will only do like the manure and that, so. Again. We have a struggle to get over this little peep in that of sugar bean that. So yeah, I think first of all we should test, you know, how it picks up the manure. So there we go, since we're over here. Same again. It's gonna have that slight issue, so we need to go like, deep down into the bucket. And then close it. There we go. And then yeah, let go to empty. But yeah, so far it's Oh yeah, I think I'm going to have to help this a little bit, so let's grab a section here, so this is a 3.1 meter, weighs 80 kilograms, so yeah, if this is going to do it, then it will have to be this one, so, okay, right, I'm going to help this out as much as I can, just to see if it's actually even possible now, so there you go. Okay, press 17 to enter the vehicle turn on said vehicle, so there we go, we're perfectly aligned, stop swinging please ok, there we go bang on, and then close, nope, wrong one there we go, so yeah, we've got it grabbed and yeah, it just phases through by the looks of it, so yeah, I can't do logging, so that's a what? Two minutes I wasted your time there, folks, so I do apologise. But yeah, sort of see, it's just going through now, and I think it's exactly the same for all of these now. 
So, one way I can test that is that. So, yeah. See, no collision there. So, you've got a collision when you're hitting like the outside bits on the top. So, yeah. What about this? Yeah, again, collisions and that. So, it's a good and bad thing. That's why I was having issues with it, you know, filling up and emptying because of the collisions, I think. So, overall, now, it's a decent little mod. I get the concept, concept behind it. Yeah, I don't think this is Nikos' first mod now, because, yeah, he'd done the Cyclops T214 back in, what, 11th, the 11th of 11th, 2023, so, 10 months? Yeah, 10, 12, 10, 11 months for this to come out on console now. But also, yeah, I know Nikos ain't a massive mod now, because his last mod now came out on 8th of April for PC, and the one before that was the start of the year, so... Not a big time modder in that, but overall I do like the concept of it. I'm not going to knock Nico for in that, because this is an awesome bit of kit with the potential of working very well. Obviously, a lot of it can be just user error, and possibly it is in that. But anyways, that is the Lizard Cyclop by Nico321. Now we'll head on to the Sheds in that, and then, yeah, get this actual mod review done, because currently it is Wednesday. That's how long this has taken to record and come out, because... Yeah, yesterday and that, when I had things all finishing up and that, and in the evening, just a lot of things came up, but yeah. And on to the sheds now. And alright, so this is going in after I finished recording the mod review, because when I first did this, this was a pain in the ass, and yeah, I recorded this section at like 3 o'clock in the morning, when I first recorded this, but anyway, so this is going to be take 2 of it, and... After doing a bit of research and after reaching out to Looney Farm Guy now, thank for your help that LFG and that, because now it's time to look at the SMS Grasslands Royal Pack. This is by DD Mob Passion, 21.25 megabytes to download, and essentially this is one piece of equipment. However, again, I think this is mainly because this is DD Mob Passion, where he does a lot of these kind of mods now, where he overcomplicates it and makes it really just either too complex or just unnecessary in that because yeah if I go to our mods net we've got the same model yeah it's the SMS LV520T all these are exactly the same first of all so first of all what I'm going to say is you only need one of these you don't need all five for individual things because all of these I see it from left to right, we've got the grass roller and weeder. We've got just a normal roller, a weeder, fertilizer spreader, and a sower in that. As you can see on the bottom, on the right hand side, so it says, fill types is as following, seed, water, fertilizer, and lime. And that's going to be really complicated because if you do this wrong, if you have the wrong thing set up, you can absolutely ruin this equipment and just... Yep, yeah, I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a bit. But yep, yeah, so first of all, here it is. So first of all, we're going to go down a little bit, bit of a close-up of it. And yep, yeah, overall, that is a good bit of equipment, good bit of kit. This one I got is the cedar one. Cedar, roller, and fertilizer, because... Go into any one of these, so... Go from your configurations up and down, so you can have the additional tank APV or none. So what I'll do is, we'll add a couple of options. Move, so yeah, you have the ladder, rear lights, so you, you have the ladder with the APV tank. And all that is, just a bit of an additional tank. But yeah, you can have it without, so you can fill this up with water, because I think if I go into our Massey sec, the main fill type of this is water, and that's... I'm not sure if it's like a ballast or not, you can fill it as like a ballast, because, yeah. That's what it is. So 6,000 litres so normally is just the regular fill-up capacity of the water. So you can have it without the tank, and you can still fill up with 6,000 litres of water. Why would you? Because in the game-wise, it doesn't make a difference, besides from adding weight. Will Brown's got Trailborg, Registeins, Michelins, BKTs. On the trip board, we've got different options in that. Two of those. And basically, it's just a tire size, so same rim sizes in that, same speed rating in that. 
It's just the chonkiness of it. So, a bit of a chonky, a bit of less chonky. Missions, five sixes, five verse lines, and so on. Anyway, so we're like, it's got design one, design two, design three, and back to design one. And for the design, you've got the rollers or a weeder. So, what this is, it's the main function of the actual roller that you see here. So, that's going to be your normal rollers. If you're using this with the intention as a weeder or as a part of a weeder setup, then you'll need this because this is all determined by the working error. So we got rollers and fertilizer, you got the roller and seeder, roller, seeder, and fertilizer spreader, just a weeder, weeding and fertilizing, and then yeah, back to weeding and yeah, weeding and seeder and that. I oh, no, sorry, we'd have weeder, seeders, and fertilizer spreader. And then, yeah, roll and readers, roll weed and fertilize, roll weed and seeds, roll weed, seed and fertilize, and then back to roller. So, literally, you can do everything you want to do with grass and that. Because you can plant grass, or seed radish, and canola, so rape seed. So, you can use this in terms of whatever you want. So, what I've got and done is, I thought it's set up as a seeder roller and fertilizer spreader and yeah so I've already gone and start drilling some grass so what this would do is we'll roll seeds and all out the grass so first of all we're going to unfold the machinery because yeah when I first did this section I overcomplicated it I did so apologies on that and how to redo it so yeah only options you got is turn on fold and lower an act so if we turn it on, we'll drop this down, so what this will do is it will roll, seed, and fertilize. So see, we've got the rolling aspect of it here, so that is the rolling texture in that, after you drill. And I was wondering, can we see the point where you just drill? Uh, no, not really in that. But yeah, so you can use this on already grass fields. Also, this would maybe be a bit useful with like some precision farming, but when you roll grass in that normally, that will just get rid of or reset the grossing of it. So you can sort of see we are rolling, seeding and fertilizing. But yeah, the water that does not go down, so just a note on that because the weight of these is 5.2 grand initially, and with the water and all that, and a little bit of seed and other good stuff in that. If I go to my least equipment, so I got the cedar version. So it see it goes up to 8.7 tons currently. And trust me, if you fuck up with this, you can go up to 30, 40 tons. Why? It's called, uh, I'm not sure if it is limit, but it's called free lime in that way, or because, yeah, you can cock this up, so what I'm going to do is go to this one. So this one here I got configured as a weeder, so as you can see, I've already done a bit of practice here, so we got rid of the main bit of weeds. And yeah, so if we go to here it's partial weeds so that's the bits I've already done and then yeah you've got your medium weeds and that so I'm not sure if the weeds gonna regrow after you do it because again I don't often do this kind of thing I do so but yeah so we can tell the difference I've go into the air so we'll see where we'll be weeding and where we haven't and yeah this kind of thing what you do is in the first growth state of weeds now where you'll weed it out. That's all it is. This is just a weeder, it's ain't a roller or anything like that. But yeah, weeding is on in the first stage and this is the same with a normal weeder net, a normal hoe net. And you also have the option of doing chemical spraying if you wish. But yeah, now onto the part where I say you can potentially screw this big time, so 
I got a large tractor here, so this is a case magnum for just a basis the massive case mod one. And I'm gonna do one thing first of all, so if I go to my mods here, I'm gonna purchase the seven and a half ton weight. Cause you're gonna need a heavy weight if you screw this up somehow, so anyone would do because they're all exactly the same. So I'm going to say, yeah, let's go with just a roller. Configure this as a roller. But say, yeah, I want a tank. Why would you want a tank? You don't need a tank. But yeah, so also you do have the APV control box in that. So yeah, I'll test that out in a bit as well, because this is going to be a bit of a complicated section. So yeah, let's just say Valva T-Series. That'll do. Doesn't matter. Because, yes, you can fill this up with anything. And if you're using the multi-fruit fill point silos and that, so like the one by A2 Studio and that, or even one here on the map. So, yeah. Ooh, okay, a bit too much weight there, so... Let's get this weighed on initially. Because, yeah, so... If I go to here, so go to our mods net, what we got out, so we got this one here, so pay attention to this one. See that weighs two and a half tons there at the bottom. Because yeah, that's a good way to try to weight off your equipment or whatever now when you got things filled up. So let's say, oh, I'm gonna go to here and fill up. So you can do that. You should have an option to fill. I see fill up with fertilizer or lime. So that's what I just done there. Fertilizer there, so that's gone up to 2.7 tons, so not too bad. And fill that up again, that uh, yeah, 2.7 tons. However, you can fill this up with lime. And wait a minute. This wasn't happening before. Because when I... Maybe because it's with this one here? See, I was... I mean, okay, when I first tested this, it was with this one here, so... Ah, right, so... I somehow got the configurations correct. Let's try that again. Additional tank, APV... Let's just say... Seeds, not fertilizer, just seeds. So I got that. There we go. So yeah, after a quick bit of testing off camera, sort of see I've encountered the issue, and where we're getting free lime here. Sort of see on the bottom right, eighty, ninety, a hundred thousand liters. So this is the thing. So this was configured to as a grass, yeah, under grass and care that. So. Yeah, just be a bit careful because next you know you can have something that weighs 201 tons, 228 tons. So if you want to know how much lime weighs, yes, it weighs a lot to the point. <laughs> how much does that weigh now? 293 tons. And how much lime we've got in here? 242,000 litres. I think literally there's nothing in the game that comes close to that. Like, because a lot of things that use unreal capacity in that has a false weight, this doesn't have that as an option. Because where this is one model, just with many configurations, the weight mass in the XML file, so you have true... Basically, it's to true weight, or you can be set to true or false, so things like all the traders I use on my mod review, so like these kind of traders, their weights are set to false, so they don't really increase weight. However, actually, can we figure out something that pulls that? So, I do have the most powerful tractor in the game here, so under my mods now, again, this is a diversion. 5,000 horsepower. And wait, there's more. Super singles, BKTs, we know. 
Yeah, I think BKTs are the short best grippy tyres in that. Let's make sure we didn't have a lizard brand. No, we do not. So, super singles. And literally, at the moment, it weighs 24 and a half tons. But we're going to need all the weight we can. So, thinking just yes to everything. So, yeah, front. That's what I want is the. On oh, three point linkage, please. There we go. Just in case we need an additional seven tons here. But can 5,000 horsepower pull how much? 293 tons. I do not know. So, first of all, I'm going to do is yeet you out of the way. So yeah, 5,000 horsepower. Can this pull 300 tons, basically? Um... <laughs> um, the answer is new. What about if I get rid of these silos? What about now? No. <laughs> Okay, let's add an additional seven and a half tons. So now, this baby weighs. Okay, it doesn't re register when. You, yeah, because it's not a fill type in that. So it doesn't re register, but this is 24 plus seven and a half tons. So that is 32 tons we've got here. So, what about this? Not even close. It doesn't help we're not on level ground. They come even lower on the weight, and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's the problem there. So quick diversion. So be careful not to fill up with you know 242 thousand liters of line. But yeah, as next you know. Oh no, we're we're going. Oh, we're pulling, baby. We're pulling. Come on. So yeah, next you know. You may have something like this. So I am trying to dump this out and. Yeah, so basically it's not free line, but it's free storage for line. So if you want, you can use this as a lime storage now, if you want. I am literally trying to do whatever I can. Oops. So you're not even with 5,000 horsepower, weighing 30 tons. We need something like the tractor puller now, I think. Because, yeah. This is not going anywhere, so... Okay, that is a minor diversion, I'll admit. I do apologise for that. But, yeah, you can sort of see the biggest frustration with this, because it's been out for a couple of days now, and it's rated 4.3 on console, and the PC and Mac version, which is just the additional features one, is 4.5, so... On average, this mod is a 4.4 out of 5. And personally, I think it, it is a good mod. Does the rating justify it? To be fair, in this case, yes, in a way. Unlike the Rumble Van, which is an absolute mod crash of a mess on console, or at least on last gen, this is a beautiful bit of kit in that. But just unfortunately, this does not, the mod description of it does not help it at all. Like, it cocks it up big time, like, without you even know it, so... Yeah, that's the problem, unfortunately, in that. It's, yeah, where it's... It's not, again, it's not a complicated mod, this is a very simple mod. If you know what you're doing with the configurations and that, easy as it is, so... At the end of the day, it is down to potential user error. However, it doesn't mean it's the user's fault if the description of the mod, or if they're... Yeah, again, I'm going to check on Mod Hub, I am at the moment. Yeah, there's no, like, guide to video or anything, just screenshots and that. And the mod description does not help with people who are new to this. Because, yeah, when I was first of all testing this and setting it all up, did I have issues with it? Heck yeah, I did, brother. I had so many issues, and that's why it took me an hour. 
to do the first section of it, but come towards the end of that sec end of this mod review on this particular mod at four o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, I think it was. Yeah, Tuesday when I got around to finishing it initially. I had to scrap it, looking back at it at the time, being sleep deprived and that, I was like, I can't do it, I'm not making any sense, and to be fair, I didn't give the mod a fair justice, I didn't, I didn't give it a fair chance in that. So when I saw um, Looney Farm Guy, once again, awesome YouTuber and that, feel free to subscribe to his channel and that. There's way better mod reviews than I do, I think, in certain ways, or at least get them out on better time than I do, because it's coming out Friday evening. If not Saturday, because I'm doing this bit now, and it's 7 o'clock on Friday, so... Yeah, because we'll see how long it's taking to get this mod review done. A lot of it is getting personal stuff. And we'll have mentioned that at the end of the video of it, so feel free to check that out if you want to know why, but... Overall, this is a good quality mod. Oh yeah, it is a good rating. I don't really rate mods in that, because... At the end of the day, it's subjective, and it's down to the individual person. And not every mod is for every people, but you can say the same thing about maps and that, so... 4.4 out of 5 is a fair rating for all this mod. But at the end of the day, I just really wish um, DZ Mod Passion, even regardless of the whole issues involved with him and Castan 18 with the Rumbler situation and what Castan 18 was doing with his, his own Lizard Ford branded kind of uh, transit mod in that, whatever it was, I can't remember the top of my head. It is a good mod, it is, just again, it's very complicated, not user friendly at all if you look at the mod description. However, hopefully, this this section, or if you yeah, I think the uniform guy, I can't remember, yeah, because it's been a couple of days since I watched this video on it and spoken to him. I'm pretty sure this is a good mod, it is a good mod, and hopefully, this video has helped you, this section here. If not, I'm sure the farm guy, his video is a lot more concise with it. However, I know this is mod reviews coming out late, so I'm thinking, heck it, just do a bit of a over explanation on why this is a good mod. However, just be careful you get the right configurations. Otherwise, yep, yeah, you'll have something like this, where it weighs absolute 300 tons. And actually, I'm going to do a quick jump cut here because I want to see how much that can fill it up to. Now, is there an actual limit? So, yeah, by the looks of it, yeah, there is no limit because currently we just crossed the 1.2 million litres of lime. And how much does that weigh? 1.223? One and a half thousand tonnes. Yeah, we've officially crossed one and a half thousand tonnes. And yeah, again. Little miss uh, fight section there, but anyways, that is that, and yep, that is the SMS Grassland Roller Pack by DD Mod Passion. Awesome mod, just been yeah, simple. It's an awesome mod, but it's been overcomplicated, and the uh, mod description does not help it really in that in terms of you know the ability to not actually fill up with one and a half thousand tons of lime. We'll make that 1.7 thousand tons of lime. Next. So, starting off with our placeables, I know the shadow ain't great here, but we've got the kiosk. This is by your Hall Proofy, H -L H -A -L -B Proofy. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's 1.96 megabytes download, anyways. And yeah, so this is a simple sell point for your production items, and yeah, so pretty much it says a sell point, a kiosk, and that. That fits for a small village and everything a small village needs, so all your productions that can go in here. Along with your grapes, olives and potatoes, so things like your greens and that. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that you wouldn't really sell this in a village and that. Realistically, and that, or just a normal shop in general. Usually things that will get sent off in process, so yeah. I can sort of see the gist behind it now, like the idea behind it, so... Anyways, so you find this under productions and sell points. Slot count is 10 goes down to 1. And as you can see, it is 14 and a half grand. And yeah, sex everything, honey and that bread. So yeah, all the basic production items and that. Including the ones from like your greenhouses as well, just to note as well. So yeah, so guessing the trigger is there by the looks of it. It is a pretty small trigger, I have to say, to be fair. 
I'm going to do is learn this and yeah, just drive along. See at what point it starts to sell. Actually, I'm going to strap it. Sorry, it's back up again. So it starts to sell in at there. So even though the hazard mark box says it's there, it does start to sell in a bit further out. Well, actually, perhaps because that was. Oh, wait a minute, now it's not selling. Well, of course, yeah, my money now is a bit weird than that, so. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just may need a bit of movement in that. Sometimes, when you get like items that they're fixed on that place, they won't start selling or whatever. Alright, so. So it seems to do the job in that, but again, no issues in that. What about if I just leave the trigger in that? So yeah, I'm just coming along, normal trigger in that. Can I just sell everything? Maybe because of what I was doing. It's a bit funny, so it's doing that one there above. Ah, right, is it doing everything? See, so yeah, it's doing everything in that marked area now, so. Maybe because it, I had it quite low to the ground. You see the trigger icon is here right, so maybe it's that. Yeah, that's that's literally right in the area and Oh I don't know. Bit of an iffy trigger again, could be a user error thing. But yeah, so I'm leaving the area. Let me just grab one, let's just grab one so Thankfully these are liftable now, because thanks to a mod on that. So yeah, it starts selling there. Huh? So yeah, when it's on the ground, you cannot sell it. Let me slide this across the ground. So yeah, it's a very weird trigger it is, so if it's raised, then... Okay, that's going to need an update, because... I get it, you know, again I'm using a low loader in that, so most people would use like box trailers or something. Or try to think like, like a flatbed trailer in that, because like, the one by Top888. So something like that, where it is obviously a bit more raised above the ground. But surely you can have a, a sort of extend the error, error, area, I'm trying to say here. So it has a bigger radius than that to accept in items of that, so. Yeah, that's going to need an update, I think, or at least, because again, see, see, it's not strapped down or anything, it's raised, it's in the icon area, so, yes, yeah, so you start raising it, so it's got to be at least above a tire, so I think that's what, 17, 18 inches maybe, so, yeah, it's got to be off the ground by a significant bit, I have to say, so, yeah, that is a bit of a negative mark on here. So, anyways, that is the Kiosk by your Hop Proofy. Next. Now for the modern XL Shed. This is by Superfly1842. 2.66 megabytes to download. And what this is, it's a shed with a large bay area that you can store your equipment. Also, if you go into your left, we got a pallet rack here. So, as in the name, you can use this to store all your pallets in that. So I think you can get like one, two, three items per rack section. So that is one, two, three, four. Times that by one, two, three, four, five. So that's twenty. So yeah, about about a hundred pallets or so that can be stored there. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, depending on what pallets you're using. But anyways, before we go further ahead, you'll find it under build mode, under shares, go towards the end, and you can find it just here. It is a bit pricey at 120 grand, but it is worth it. So you have many car options because it's by Super 42. So yeah, got one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, overall you got 18 different colors. Just had to quick check my notes there. So apologies about the little jump cut there. But yeah, so you got a various selection. So you can blend in into whatever landscape or area you're in. Of course, for being a mod review, take it with a bit more unusual with a nice faint purple net. But yeah, in terms of slot counts, it is 9 goes down to 1. And yeah, there are automatic doors, automatic blinds, got interior lights, automatic steering lights. I love the sound of that. And I think this 
by Super, I think it was it by ICAS or was it Super Fighting 42 that did actually no no it was Super Fighting 42 that did the medium workshop and that so this is a very similar model to that and what this that, that had was this option so you have the option to go topless if you want to so I think yeah the reason why you want to do this because I think this was first introduced when I can't remember who it is but there was like the large pallet area the large pallet so yeah, I thought just quickly look out to make sure I got it correct. Yeah, it was the large logistic warehouse by Pascal Kutz. So yeah, that was I think the first introduction of that kind of thing, or at least for console it was that. But also, yeah, originally you have something like this again. You know, you can have this as an aspect of it being a glass roof rather than being a panelled or tiled roof and that. Or if you want to, you can use this to put down like things like a workshop area and that, because there are like main tools and that. So. Well, yeah, you can have the little shed in there, or something like this, like the toolbox by Schultz Modding. So that means you can easily go in and out, without having to do weird clipping things. Or if you want to, so if I just get a bit of better light in here, so... You can put containers in there, also the jet washers in there, so that's under tools I was looking for, so... Yeah, rather than you know, have to have a jet washer outside, you just come onto the inside, and then place, because... If I try it in build mode like this, yeah, obviously you got that collision with the roof and that, so with that, you could just go straight through and bobs your ankle, not a problem. So yeah, I do I like these features and that. But yeah, also you got doors on the sides. Our light switch is uh, where was it? To just over here to the left by pallets. Oh no no, yeah, it was just over here. <laughs> just look at my notes. So yeah, light switch and that, so turn on and off your shed lights. But yeah, so overall, nice little quality mod. Again, Super Flight 1842 has done it again. Also modern than that, can't wait to see what he does in FS25 and that. But yeah, that is the modern XL shed by Super Flight 1842. Next. Now for the Population College 1971, this is by CEE. It is 33.32 megabytes of download. Slot count is 28, goes down to 2, I think. But yeah, so this is a very simple rudimentary farmhouse. So go to your farmhouse, go towards the end, and as you can see, 70 half grand, and yeah, 28 slots goes down to 2. Obviously, no colour options or anything like that. But yeah, it's, I think, again, population is like a Polish thing. Something like in Polish or like something like that's reminiscent of Polish. But yeah, sort of the aesthetic of it does look like that, at least. But like, you know, your typical houses and that, you do have a actual entrance area in that, so... Of course, there's only a basic an inner porch in that, so... Got your exterior porch here. So you have the option to open and close the door in that, so... And then, yeah, go to the house. And we've got your seat trigger here. Again, just try to see if there's anything you could open. Nope, didn't think so. But yeah, again, it's better than what we usually have, you know, with the farmhouses out where it's usually just fixed like that and no options for anything else. But, anyways, so yeah, day maintenance of 15. I think day is a simple farmhouse, does what it needs to do in that. I love the aesthetics of it. So again, detail that, like the rocks and that, the foundation base, steps and that. And also, we do place it without using the free replacement trigger and that, so... You do get this grass texture now, of course, yeah, the dirt and ash for me going over things, because, yes, it's taking a lot longer to get up, and... Yeah, this video's going to come up very late, because... Yeah, I'll explain that at the end, but anyways... That is the Population College 1971 by Sid C.E.E. -E. Next. Now for the green storage with drying floor, this is by Swifty, 16.99 megabits of download. Slot count is 13 goes down to 1. And yeah, what is this? It's basically, simply, it's a, not a drying floor area now. The drying floor, as far as I'm aware, it's a, just a pure aesthetic piece. But yeah, you've got an area over here where you can store your grains, also bells, big bags, the machinery. Pretty much use this for anything in that, and yeah, just look at the heat mod description again. Ah, uh, yeah, the drive floor aspect is a visual thing. 
But yeah, so yeah, got your light switches over here. Uh, lovely jubbly. Got your interior doors. Ah yeah, these aren't bunker silos, so yeah, nothing's coming up, so... These are just basically, like, bunker silo like things, but... Yeah, so basically this is like the drying floor element in the way, because I think if we go outside, so... Yeah, so come out of here. On one of these sides, I think it's at the back, you've got like, a little drying compressor and that. So what that would do in real life at least, you know, be a way to dry the floor so that keeps the crops, you know, dry and then prevents them from getting any moisture in. Or at least take help take moisture out or maintain a certain amount of moisture in the crop because obviously when you sell crops out in real life, obviously there's a certain amount of moisture the crop will need to have. Otherwise, you have to pay, you know, driving fees and that in real life. Again, if you're a fan of corpse and farm now, you'll see that a lot in that. But anyways, minor waffle once I tracked on size. This is very expensive at 280 grand for what is simply is a shed in that. Sort some bells, pallets, and again, you can't use this to store grain in that, so... I don't think I have one here, but let's go grab a trailer with some grain in that. And see how this holds up. So right there we go, we've got a trailer here with a million litres of wheat. Oh yeah, will this hold a million litres? I very much doubt that. But again, I thought it was going to be a bit unrealistic, so... At least I don't know how to make multiple trips or put any, you know, fill silos in, so... You do have a big area to store in that, so... Let's see how much potentially you can store here in that, so... Again, I'm probably it's not being the most efficient with this. Actually, saying that, we'll probably at least, at least get a million tier, maybe even more. So yeah, that's already, what, 15%? Ooh, that seems to be maybe a bit interesting, that, so... There we go, just getting just back this up, so let me just fill this up a sec, and then we'll jump cut to once I've got his field. And actually, you know what? Yeah, pretty, pretty much a million tiers this will hold, so... Yeah, I got 26,000 years there, but you can sort of see the point of, you know, trying to demonstrate that. It's also for I had a little quick test on that, you know, things like clipping and that, because you often do get, you know, these kind of, like, grain sheds now that have it, you know, like, that weird clipping and that, so... But yeah, I'm determined we've got 2% left here, come on, let's get this last little bit in. There we go, we're filled up in that, so that is a million litres of wheat. Again, I was using a French Doors Power tractor now. I think that is basically one of those 6250R and Yeah, yeah, see? Overall? Yeah, I see, yeah, we've got all within the line now, all the drying floor area. Again, yeah, not the most perfectly, you know, well done. That little hips and pivots here and there. Maybe, I'm not sure you can even flatten this down with a, you know, a lever and that. But yeah, have a look. No real clippings that, nothing's like peeking outside. Actually, you know what? That is actually rather well done. Again, so when I've looked at, sh at least for when I've looked at grain storages and that, not many of them will have something like this. Where you don't get any real clippings, but yeah, it's actually very well done. And you can sort of see, you know, the grain on the edges and that. So yeah, overall, it is a well done piece, so... Yeah, again, the little diversion there. Also, I forget, may have already forget to mention, but the daily upkeep of this is 120 bucks to that. But, anyways, that is Grain, grain Storage with Drying Floor by Swifty. Next. Moving across, we got the Steel Hall. This is by Bessie Lucas. This is 12.51 megabytes to download. And what we've got here is two sheds. Now, even though it doesn't really make it clear on the mod hub in that, this is a steel hall for machinery, but also there is a bell and pallet storage facility that has a capacity of 1,200. So I think that is the biggest amount, or at least on console now, because I know think things by Missy B in that, or I think it's Vertex Design, or I can't remember who else in that. But yeah, 1,200, I think that is the biggest one we've got here in that. But anyway, so in terms with slot counts, the steel hall is 13 here on the right, and the belt and pack storage, as you can see here, is 7. But yeah, so we'll go into build mode. First of all, you find this under sheds. 
So yeah, we've got Steel Hall here, so this is the non-bell and pad storage option. No colour options or anything like that. And that is 45 grand. As I mentioned, 30 slots goes down to 1. Then go to your silos and that. And there we go, 45 grand. 7 slots goes down to 1. Again, no colour options. It's your bell and pallet storage. See, so yeah, I think first of all we'll look into the normal one here and that. And yeah, first impressions. Well done. I love the corrugated metal with that. Yeah, again, it's a very simplistic, well done mod in that. Got the textures in that. Again, even like the bits that you know, the weather in that power. So if I actually go on, on this side where you can actually see it better in the daylight. So yeah, without this need for the torch. But yeah, sort of like the pit in this and that, the sort of bits of the metal rotting away in that. Or at least showing early signs of rust in that. Not too shabby. And now, going across. We got the bell and pad storage. You can see, I've got some items in here, no bells and that. But yeah, I think it's just bells I got in here. We'll quickly have a quick look on the padded. So, we've got a fair few items over here and that. And yeah, oh dang, I saw those cakes here, didn't I? So, I'll go and grab some cakes and that in a sec. But anyway, so go and grab our bells and that. So. As you've already seen that, you can drive through the bell sack area. But yeah, so the actual area where you put items in is actually on the inside, so we're never having to be on the inside or whatever. So yeah, get rid of that sec. So let's go and offload this, so I've got automatic loader in that. So yeah, the bells are going in. And you see, once bells are in, that will get adjusted. And then you sort of see everything just gets, you know, shifted back in that. Because, yeah, I don't. Yeah, dang, I've sold all of our cakes and that. So I've got one cake left in that, so. You know, rather than mess around. So, yeah, I did have this planned out to do the sheds first and that. But, yeah, I've got the kiosk until, like, the last minute when I tried to record this section here. So. Anywho, we drive through. No, I'm not kissing. Mass in case, behave yourself. But yeah, so let's go and put this in. And yeah, so it doesn't set um, pallets and that eyes as I expected. And how does that one pallet look? Can I actually find it? Uh, can't see it. Oh, nope, there it is. So it's actually nicely well done. Like, it's actually well organised in that. Yes, it's a bit of a jumbled mess in that. But yeah, 1200, I think that is the biggest one we've got now. <coughs> Maybe with some of the sections off, like the large industrial size warehouses and that, you may have in that. But anyway, it's good quality mod, love the capacity, love the design of it. And yeah, I think one thing we have to do is test the output. So, I know, let's get. Uh, Ooh, they actually stack up like, like so. That, I did not even test that, so. Let's try it again. So, you come into here. I want, oh, you know what, let's go and grab our, one of our straw bells in it. Now, I want to grab a square bell in that, so, silage. Alright, so I had to sort of quickly stop recording there because I thought, for a moment there, I thought the game crashed now, so I quickly saved the recording that on the PlayStation. But no, so, yeah, you can't get... How many out can you get? Let's keep on going in that. Yep, 137. How big is the area, you know, can get bells out? Actually, I want to know, because again, not many bell and pallets in this sort. Now, sure, I think this is the only one, as far as I'm aware of that, that has seemed like an infinite amount of... See, 101 in that. I'm trying to find out the limit of this. Ah, there we go. Not enough space in that, so... 
to the year. We're down to 77, and I did not count what we bloody had before on that, so... Bear with me a sec. Wow, so yeah, we got 77 out, 211 in, so that is 134, 144, yeah, 144 items we had out. Yeah, I know we have some cakes now. Again, the amount you'll have out is down to what you actually have in here, but have a 1200 capacity and have, you know, like a space, you know, to put 10% of what you've had in here out straight away to. You know, like, load your trays and that, load your tractors, whatever and that, whatever you want and that. Actually seems to make sense. And yeah, did get a bit creative with a Colossus Harvester and that to get all these spells back in. But yeah, overall, again, a little mind diversion there. Nice little quality mod. But anyways, this is the Steel Hole by Better Noir Lucas. Next. Now for the multi garage, this is by iCast. This is 6.54 megabits to download. 15 slots on console, and yeah, as is the name, it's a multifunctional garage that has 34 color options, two double doors and small door. Lights on the outside is automatic, inside is switched near the main door, so yeah, we'll have a look at that in a second. I may have got it slightly positioned wrong. Yeah, I thought it was like this, but no. It's meant to look like that on the side, but small details, small details anyways, and that, but Anywho, find this under sheds, and this is 45 grand. Yeah, 6.54 megabytes now, and slot count, I was looking for 15 slots, goes down to 1. And yeah, so 34 different colour options. So you've got greens, got your normal colours, very warm colours, and that's. Actually, I don't think the colours are warm, I think it's just the texture, and I think. So you can have this like a ruggedy old shed if you want, or something very bright and modern in that. So let's go into the hot pink one. Ouch, my eyes, that actually hurts. So yeah, so have the help menu open up here. So over here to the left, we've got your workshop area, also a seat trigger. And yeah, light switch is just over here. So yeah, this is a very small little facility, so you can actually use this, you know, again, seat trigger, workshop and that, so just start off on the map and that, and just have this. Maybe not in hot pink, but my first favourites are the red and the white one. Again, depends on where you are, what region on a map you're on and that, so, yeah, so if, for example, a old Polish one, I do have something, uh, where is it to, now? No, something like this, a kind of a... Just like an old warm paint colour net. You do have different shades out, like the yellows, beiges and that. Or just an old wear worn down black one. So yeah, again, three four different colour options, so you're not limited on terms of what you can use this for. But yeah, I'll so say overall it's a well designed. Again, I like the weather in that, so you know, things like here like the paint on the bottom they're wearing out. Also, when you free place in that or place in build mode normally, you do get this little concrete slab as a path in that or a little thing. Though like, oh, I'm not sure what it is a garden that or a ramp, not a ramp. I think it's just basically a platform. That's it. That's what I was looking for. Then also, yeah, a concrete base, and also yeah, it's got like the drainages as well. You know, proper drainage in that. Nice details like to do something being a bit clogged up in that. Again, yeah, little, little things like that, I do love. So, that's your door down size, I forgot to show. But yeah, this is a well-lit area in that. Plenty of windows, even though some are a bit smudgy smudgy in that. But anyways, that is the Motley Garage by ICAS. Good modder in that, as always. Love this mod. But anyways, on to our final set of placeables before heading it into our productions. Now for a colossal package, we've got the Pig Farm Building Package, this is by Razak, 43.22 megabytes to download, and this is a pack that's not just, again, a pig barn in that, this is for a full one fledged pig farm, so this has got pigsty, manure heap, silo, two bunker silos, a workshop, decoration bells I see in front of us, I know it's st stacked there, 
a hall area, old grain storage, and a old modernized grain storage. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But yeah, this is an absolute banger of a modern net. Not sure if it's going to need an update now. I've noticed a couple of things with collisions and that, but I'll go over those in a bit. So, anyways, where do you start this? So, I think let's start by the actual the pig barn itself. So, I'm going to go over the stock counts and all that first of all, and then I'll look at all the items individually in that. So, yeah, go across here to our pig farm in that. So, that is this thing here. So, yeah, we've got these two sheds, the pig barn area there, and the exterior side and that's so that's gonna be your sorry pit so yeah salt count for that is 24 goes down to a one cost 220 grand and as you can see you can hold 350 pigs in that and then yeah from there we'll go to our buildings go to our sheds and that so if we go across that Apologies there, I mean, yeah, 8 items or 10. Why did I have fun? Yeah, I knew it was the update to those sheds of that, but what, no idea why I had them there. But, yeah, since we're here in that, so under decorations, first of all, that, so, or secondly, yeah, you know, it's got some like decoration bells. They do have a collision on it. And yeah, go from there, go to our sheds and that. And yeah, so yeah, I don't know why I had these, but they do look very fitting onto uh, this one here and just have a quick check on that and yeah not by Razak the old those old green storages and that so don't know why I've got them downloaded and that but again apologies on that part there anyways yeah you do actually have a whole area to store your equipment so and that's one here we're looking at and then yeah go from there go to your silo so as you can see, you got your side of that, so that can hold 5 million litres. We'll have a look at if there's a multi fruit, because I can't remember if that is or ain't. Also, yeah, got a manure heap, can hold 3 million litres. And then that's so you got your two bunker silos, so you got a medium side clamp and a smaller one. And yeah, I think this is the medium one, and this will hold. If I have a look here in that. Come on, just give me the figure in that, please. Oh, I don't see how I've turned it off in settings and that. No. Ah, that's alright, yeah. I had to save. Yeah, unfortunately, ru ruined this test map and that by saving the game after all the changes I've done in this recording. But, anyways, we got 1.32 million litres of potential size in that. Yeah, I didn't get around to, you know, do a full one flatten of it, because this would have taken forever to do. And I don't have the, sort of, the, the quick compactors and that, that you can have for that. But yeah, so, 1.32 mil. There is, unfortunately, clippings, you know, all across the bottom in that, so... Yeah, that's, like, one kind of thing I mentioned about it needing a potential update in that. But yeah, again, it's a minor thing in that, but again... As well, when I do my mod reviews and that, I do try to be... As uh, fair, firm but fair. That's why with my criticism, anything that they put some people off, that's skin. That's how I do my mod reviews and that. Even though this is going to come out, what? These came out, what, on the 7th for that? And yeah, this is going to come out bloody Thursday, if not Friday. But again, I'll explain that why at the end of the mod review and that. For those who are actually interested in that, that was all getting any views and that, but. So one of the things, I'm already in the process of doing this, and i put so much time and effort into it already. So yeah, just going to finish it off. But anyways, back onto the pig farm building pack and that. So, yeah, that is the bunker size and that. It's gone over the green solo, so we'll test that for its capacity and that. And yeah, I think the last thing to look at is the workshop area. So, yeah, got a workshop area just over here and that. So... Yeah, everything's gone over in that, so we'll go over the pig sign out bits last in that. So, first of all, we got our silo over here in that. And yeah, place it down on my cocked up map in that. Yeah, I may have bod bodged this in that because, yeah, the train in that ain't perfect. I see. It's all very lumpy and bumpy. I've already do my mods in that over here and that, so 
I've not found out this area now, so I'm going to need to put down a another silo because I seem to cannot find where you actually put yourself into now, so there we go. See, so yeah, 120 grand fire net. So yeah, let's go and hop into a tractor net. And yeah, I'll actually go over there and see if you can actually find where you put your items in because, yep. This section here is very bumpy net, so again, apologise about that. But yeah, I am working on a new test map net that hopefully should be out or should be done. By the time I do my next mod review now, so I'll be. If you get any mods today on Friday. There we go. Oh no, wait a minute. Was that the shed that I looked at? Oh, so. Cause yeah, that's the hall in that. But yeah, I may have just forgot to put the actual silo down that. Because yeah, silo 16 slots. So yeah, that is the horn at. Same as that. Alright, no, my apologies, yep. Yeah. Ah, that's it, because they look exactly the same. And like, when I... F <laughs> yeah, now it makes sense. I'm not sending it all up in that full. Yeah, they look like the same that. A bit of an oversight that. But anyways, here is the slow that. So, yeah, five million years. And one thing I want to do quickly is... Go... Actually, yeah, I think it'll be a good test in that, so... So you just, you know, to test the straw feed in that, so... I think what we can do is, again, test the multi-through capacity of it. Is see if it accepts straw in that as a loose form in that. But yeah, again, very bumpy in that. Yeah, it does ruin... Yeah, things like that. But yeah, as I said, new maps coming out soon on that, so or well, new maps gonna be done for it, so anywho. Drive over here. And yeah, it is not a multi fruit, so we accept wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybeans, corn. But yeah, for again, a bit of a weird one, you know, five million capacity, but it's not a non multi fruit. Usually something that you know a five meter capacity would be again unrealistic in terms with the fill types and that, but not this one in this case, fair enough. But anyway, so yeah, we had a quick look at the shed hall and that, so yeah, I think I'll go over there a second and make sure I'm missing like light switches and that. So yeah, I think I have yeah, just over here. Light switch and that. Yeah, you can sort of see how fucked up this train is. Again, I have no idea what how this is occurring now. I thought when I did this, like, uh, flat out area over here, that's all concrete, I had all flat out, but obviously I haven't. But yeah, again, nice quality hall in that. I'm moving on to the workshop in that. Hopefully this ain't as bonked in that. And over here, got your light switch in that. That leads into your little office area over here and that, little workshop area. So yeah, light switch again. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> yeah, come through here. Light switch. Man, how big is this area over here? <laughs> well, actually, you know what, very big in that. So this will lead to your workshop, I think. There we go. So yeah, got a workshop area over here. Even got a inspection pit in that. And ignore the water now, that's just because the water level on No Man's Land is quite high in that, so yeah, it doesn't really take too much to go into the ground to you know, realise, yep. But again, that's a No Man's Land thing, that's again one reason why I'm going to a new test map. Even though FS22 has what, got about a month left, I think, till FS25 comes out, but again, I still going to do more reviews now on FS22 because. Even though Giants is making, or at least from what my opinion is, it's a bit of a hot take whilst I'm going through this. In terms with mods that get through testing, now again, I know they're focusing on FS25, which is fair enough in that, but don't compromise the current game now, because I know some models now are having issues. Um, i trying to think of one at the moment. Yeah, FSL Landscape and his map, Ladybug, in that. 
he sent that off in what July Nat? Yeah, sent that map off in July to you know to get tested in that. And in that time it's been tested and come out to be failed twice in that and again it was such a stupid issue now and something that um FSL landscaping that could have done and yeah, got done, removed and that, whatever it was, and that actually you know need to look at this up now to so, because I've mentioned it, and so I'm boy ranting, I need to get my facts right. So, yeah, to get all my facts right, yeah, this is, yeah, FS Landscaping, you know, to create off, um, Ban Road Dairy and, uh, Jip and Norton and that, like Clarkson's Farm and that. But, yeah, so, in his recent video, not the one that's come out, like, yes, or whenever it was, it's the one that's come out a week ago on Saturday and that. So, yeah, it said, yeah, hey, creator or hey commenter and that says yeah the lady hill map's been finished and that been tested since 31st of july and uh, yeah it's only been tested twice and failed both times because of a unused texture i.e excess files it's stupid failed that wouldn't affect the map whatsoever and when i delete the texture file the map size didn't even decrease yeah so they're making it near impossible to get maps out right now because of the yeah, fs2 coming to the end so yeah again mind a rant about that but yeah, because, yeah, there's so many mods that in testing that. And, yeah, maybe... Yeah, I think I'm just going to end that bit here on that, because, yeah, that's a sidetrack to that, and that's, again, another section, another video on its own that I can do. Because, yeah, again, issues like that. We had this in 19, and, yeah, we're having it now in 22, and, yeah, it's just... At the end of the day, it's how it is, and that. Again, not blame Giants or anything... But things like that, a map of that's been since July, or end of July, that's, that's August, September, almost three months, two and a half months in that. But yeah, that did tweet me off when I saw that last week. But anyways, on to the final part of this, we got the pig sign that. So 350 cow, well no, not cow, pigs in that. So you've got two sables in that. So yeah, over here is going to be your dollar box area. For your water, your water trigger is just here. Yeah, the triggers aren't clear, to be fair to that. I was, wish that would have... Oh, sorry, I wish that made life easier than that. But yeah, so your bedding area goes into this one over here. And yeah, you do have your light switches in that. It can't go into that building, but you do have these doors here that can be opened and closed. Very subtle in terms of the sound, or I should think there was no sound at all. I'll try again. Oh, yeah, there is a sound, but yeah, it's very quiet. It is. Yeah, it fades through there, but anyways, yeah, your food goes into here. So when you see this icon here, that means this section is for your food in that. And yeah, straw is on the other side. Why is that the case then? Because I have no idea, and. If I get rid of, figure out where we're to, there we go. Wait, I'll just remove that trailer. There we go, move that Bowser and that, because, yeah, if we go to here, there's no, like, trigger that, obviously, for your water and that. Again, I'm not saying it's a false or anything, because, again, this is very clear where the water is, but with some pig barns, or with just some animal pens in general and that, it ain't as obvious where you put all your items into that. But yeah, so yeah, you got a gate. That's also the trigger is where the handle is. So if you look on that left, see the actual trigger icon for that moves that. So or at least the not the trigger icon, but the trigger area. But yeah, back onto the icons that I've got the icons enabled in that as I do on my mod reviews and that just so that. At least when I test things, I know where everything is and that, make sure I don't miss anything. But yeah, things sometimes aren't always as clear where it all goes into. But another good thing about these pig bends, well not pig bends, pig, pig pens, is you do have these doors and that, so yeah, this is a very small entrance and that, so tractors and that, yeah, you won't be able to fit ma many tractors or any tractor here and that. Saying that, you can probably get a tractor and that, but I think this is going to be more like a... UTV kind of thing though, like put bells in that, because you can use bells I think. 
But yeah, so you got your little pig houses. Can you go into that? Yeah, nope. So yeah, these do have their own collisions. Lovely jubbly. But yeah, I was just going to test the feed and that, but since that tractor's over there, this is already taking long enough to till do that. But yeah, overall that, good quality more than that, so that's that. And then yeah, as part of the main pink farm area, do you have your Surrey area. And yeah, even got little dialogues on that, so in terms of capacities and that, so go to our... And also for your shroud the capacity is, I think, yeah, I've got it right down my notes, but I think it's about 36,000 litres, water is 18,000 litres, and the pig food is like 92, like 6,000 capacity, so like something very weird it was in that, but it's what it is in that again, just 10 capacity, so for 350 pigs, I've had this running for couple of months, I fill this up once in that, and actually you can tell how body age the pigs in that, so there are 60 months, how long have I had this going on for, so yeah, 10 months in that, so I had to, in that period of time I had to feed them, what, 10? No, not 10 times, once in that, when they ran out in that, so it, the pig food does last in that, but anyways, I think that is everything, so yeah, workshop with the garage and office in that, Hall with equipment or bulk goods and that. Yeah, manure sab. So yeah, so yeah, manure sab is just over here now. Again, I may have forgotten in my rant section that, but yeah, got your manure air over here. That for some weird reason. Cause yeah, if I skip ahead another hour and that. Cause usually, you know, a manure heap and that would make sense. But yeah, no manure's going in here, so. Yeah, that may need an update because usually with manure heaps and that, so. Because, yeah, if I get that manure heap again, it's usually a certain point where it'll say. Okay, maybe not with this one, but it's where it was like the same with the base games and that. Alright, okay, so there is a infinite area where you can put things in that, but I thought. Yeah, that's very close to the pig bed, the pig barn and that. Uh, yeah, I don't know why the manure ain't coming out, because we are getting... Okay, actually, no, it doesn't show it here, but... Do we have any Surrey in here? So... Because, yeah, that's another thing as well, I think. Again, I can't tell how much Surrey we've got here, so... Because, yeah, there's no like, icon or nothing to display in there. If I go to the build mode in that... Yeah, absolute nothing, and... Yeah, again, that's part of the pig, my pig farm and that, so... Yeah, because if I just went that down, you know, just... Wherever and that. Yeah, that's how it looks when you place it down, because... It's so, alright, there we go. And yeah, I'm pressing L3, and... Nothing, so... Yeah, it's not just the collisions and that. Again, minor collisions and that, but the major things is going to be the... Manure heap and that, and li yeah, liquid and solid manure and that, so that's going to need an update because they aren't working that, so that's going to be a mark against some more that, because overall, good quality more that, you know, the office space and that, that I went over when I was rambling in that, very well detailed in that, yeah, again, I may not have commented too much on it, I just showed it off. But it is a very good area now, so yeah, workshop, office, everything you need in that. And yeah, yeah, great storage in that is very good as well. Good quality details in that, the game with the sheds in that, the gates. Absolute beautiful now, like, well done. The weathering, the textures in that. It's just the broken liquid and solid manure in that area in that. And then, yeah, I thought, you know, it has it all set up. I thought, yeah, put these bells here. You do look very nice. As well, very real Nat, like the real bells and that in game. But anyways, that is the pig farm building pack by Razak. Next. Moving on to our productions, and we've got three of them to look at today. So first of all, we're looking at the ground water pump. This is by Fifi Quick, 0.41 megabytes to download, and what this is, it's a basically a very 
unique way of getting water in that, so I'll have you have a look at that. You ignore the noise there, so yeah, this is how you get your water from the ground, and in real life, yeah, it would need pumping up, so a little bit of diesel to get water in that. It's a 1 to 100 ratio, so 1 litre of diesel gets you a 100 litres of water, so if we're not too bad, because yeah, a litre of diesel in FS is like what? Basically, like it is in real life, like a pound fifty in that, so. Yeah, one one fifty basically what it is. Or, yeah, something like that, give or take, I think it is. I can't remember the exact figure, but. Compared to buying water now, a lot of places, it's like. It's a litre for a pound in that, for water in that, or dollar, whatever you want to use currency wise, but. So, yeah, for the value aspect alone, this is a very good one to have. Again, yeah, there's mods in that. They can get free water from. Yeah, so they move away from all that ruckuses. And yeah, again, some apps also do offer free water in that. But as it is, it's a good quality mod. And yeah, 0 0.41 make whites. This costs 25 grand. Terms with stock counts is, yeah, 4 goes down to 1. And yeah, you find it under productions, go towards the end. And uh, there we go. Ground water pump. So yeah, no colour options or anything like that. And yeah, water, or sorry, diesel goes in here, and it comes out, yeah, the water comes out pretty much very much here now. So yeah, there ain't really much space you know, to have multiple icons in that, so, yeah, again, that, that noise is really irritating me there a little bit. Yeah, noise, no noise, noise, no noise. But yeah, input and output is basically where this icon is here. So let's go into our John Deere here. And let's go and extract some uh, water. And yeah, it's a pretty big error in terms of the input and output, so you do need to go right right up to it and that. And there we go. So now that's cracking on the way. So yeah, I'll still turn that off now, just for the sake of my ears and that. And so see, the water is being produced and that. For not much diesel in that, so yeah, that will fill up. I'm only going to take a couple of liters. See, so, yeah, overall, good quality more than that. And yeah, you can use this as a way to distribute water with greenhouses and see, so, yeah, 100,000 100, liter capacity for a lot of greenhouses that will last you a while in that. And through throughput as well, I forgot to mention that. So it's a 600 cycles a month, so that is 600 liters of diesel for. Uh, 60,000 litres of water a month. Sorry, just do math in my head there a sec. Yeah, 60,000 litres of water a month. Yeah, again, unless you're doing absolute stupid amount of greenhouses, again, I think there's a capacity on... Yeah, there is capacity on productions, and I don't think there is a greenhouse that does take 60,000 litres a month on its own. Yeah, still look at my greenhouses and that. Not even the large ones by Mrs. Omaton and that, so... Yeah, let's have a quick place that one down a sec. Go to our productions and that, and yeah, the water alone there. That is what, 20? I don't know, yeah, 20,000 litres a month. Yeah, 20,000, 30,000 litres. So, yeah, again, if you want to have for multiple items, yeah, you may need multiple of these, but again, for 25 grand and that, you know, you can have a little factory of these going on in the way in that, a little factory section in that. So, overall, makes sense in that. But anyways, that is Ground Water Pump by Fifi Quick. Next. Now for the Lizard Mix. This is by Vulex. This is 5.4 megabits to download. Slot count is 5 goes down to 1. And what this is, is a grounding mill with a mixer suitable for small farms. Chris the realism of the game itself. And this is basically where you get your pig food and that. So, or you can make pig food. So if we have a look here, you can also make mineral feed that can be used for... Well, no, sorry, I'm not looking at that one. No, yeah, we are looking at that one. Yeah, the yeah. Confusion between those two apologies there. So, yeah. With the mix snack sort of C, we get a lot of pig food here, but the inputs in that and outputs are very, very small now because, yeah, 120,000 cycles per month. So, if you're risking that, in theory, you get. 480,000 litres of pig food for each of these, so what's that? 1.2, 1.44 million litres of pig food a month, but this will require 
a lot of micromanagement in that because sort of see the capacities are 350 litres for your input of each and 5,000 out so yeah literally you'll need to be working constantly to get that kind of capacity output of a million litres but overall for what it is it is a good little production that so again finds under factories this will cost you four and a half grand no colour options or anything like that on the building in that, which makes sense, because if you production have that as an option in game. But well, anywho in that, so yeah, you can get pig food from wheat and barley, wheat, barley and oats, wheat, canola and maize. And then lastly, wheat, barley and oats. And also you can get your soybeans in that, or use soybeans. Because, yeah, it says pig food on the mod hub and that, but these are clearly mineral feeds. So, yeah, that would need an update for the description or whatever. Or, yeah, I think it's more of the description needs an update rather than this meant to be for pig food and that. Actually, to be honest, I don't know, to be honest, on that part. But, anyway, so for the mineral feed and that, wheat, canola, soybeans, or wheat, barley, you know. So, yeah, that is a fair, you know, ratio in that. Six to four and that, so overall not too bad for the mineral feed. But again, it's just the capacity in that it's very small, so literally you should put something in that will be used very quickly, so you need to use this constantly. And yeah, there will be points where you will stop um production at if you have this fully running. But yeah, overall now like the textures and that I do like it, like the wariness of it, the sort of Crap, that's built up over time of usage and that the paint wearing away. Overall, it's good quality more than that. It's just for large scale farming, yeah, ain't for you. Oh, look at that. Smile. A little smiley face there. <laughs> Anyways. But overall, that is the Lizard Mix by Vulex. Good quality mod, just for very small scale limited farming. Next. On to our final production, we got the TMR Mix Station, this is by Frag Casey's Modding, 6.93 megabit sound load, 14 slots on console, goes down to 1, and this is your one stop shopping out, one recipe to make TMR, so this will require, again, hay, straw, silage, and mineral feed, there's no option to have mineral feed as not an option. Also, yeah, you got your action light switch here, yes or no. Cost 45 grand, day maintenance of 30. And yeah, so got no factories, 45 grand, no core options on the buildings of that. But yeah, so your inputs are here and that. And these will accept loose or bailed items. And then yeah, so we're off. Once it's all done, the tier bar gets stored here. As to see. And yeah, output is just over here, so. Overall, let's go over the cycles and recipe and that, so icon is just here. And as you can see, it's only one recipe in that. 500 litres per cycle at 24 cycles a month. That is 10,000... Yeah, 10,000 and 12,000 litres a month. Yeah, double check that, so yeah, 12,000 litres a month, so not the biggest production in that. And terms with your ratios in that, you're looking at 350, for 500 so it is a one-to-one -one ratio you're not losing anything you do need a fair bit of mineral feed again compared to everything else 10 percent of that is mineral feeds i don't even think like for like the mix wagons i think f for the mineral feeds alone it's like a five percent upper capacity in that but then overall that you need half of it is hay so that that's fair enough straw silage yep again Needs make sense in that. Or will that have like, unique recipes where you can add more or less of whatever you want in that? So, yeah, maybe a bit less uh, mineral feed in that. But again, that's where the forge wagon comes into place. So, at the end of the day, it's what it is in that. But overall, do like the building design in that. So, I think what we'll do is we'll hop over to our tractor a sec. So, hop into the John Deere. Oh yeah, we'll just scoot around, so... Yeah, input that is loose or bells and that, so... Not a problem there, and... Yeah, this is where your output is for your TMR. Yeah, subject, TMR and that is going up. Next, we'll see, the pile is slowly going down. Oh 
yeah, we do have this running, so we need to speed up time a little bit. Yeah, so we'll see it fit up very quickly again. So yeah, overall, nice little quality mod that. So yeah, it's again a big, big production for a small output in that, but. Again, something like this is realistic. Can always have you unrealistic, unrealistic stuff like with the bio base we looked at earlier. In that sometimes you should just, you know chill out a bit, sit back, and just take in for what it is and for have realistic items. Which something I am looking forward to, especially you know having that fresh start on FS25 and that. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be a matter of time before we have fast unrealistic equipment on that. But anyways. That is the TMR Mixer Station by Frack Hazes Modding. And now, finally get onto our vehicles and get this bloody model redone, because it's taken absolute forever to do. Now again, as I've already mentioned, Frack Mod Review and that, I'll explain everything at the end. Now for the John Deere 8R South America, this is by Potcake, 50.37 megabytes to download, and what this is, it's a pack of two John Deere 8R series tractors that are very commonly used in the South American region, so countries like Brazil and Argentina, these are very often used in that. And yeah, in terms of what they're spec'd out, how they look, how they're designed is, again, reflective to how it is in South America region, so in terms of slot counts in that, 24 slots for the 8R 2AT EVT version, and for the 400 our version it is 20 slots so yeah you find these under vehicles under our tractors go towards the end and there we go so price this starts at 267 and 280 grand respectively there is a lot of configurations in terms with you know what you want to put into it also it does support the Kubota uh, passenger DLC it is ready for precision farming and for at least the 8R 2016 version, so this, this is the one here, the 280 is the 2016 and the 400 is the 2020 model. For yeah, this one here, the 2016, does have the hook function which is requires the Volvo DLC. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, hook function for the approaching rear hitch. So yeah, we'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, in terms of configurations and that, so for the 2016 model, you got the 255 horsepower, and also again, very similar to what we often see now. You got the power shift or the E Auto power transmission, the 295, 305 horsepower, 355 with a CVT all power, and then 400 horsepower with the power shift or the E, sorry, yeah, E Auto power. And I think for the last one, this is the 420. And then you get back to the 255. Wheel brands, got all your typical wheel brands and that, so I don't go over these too much in that. But for this and that, you do have narrow twins, rear twins, wides with weights, wides, wheel weights, and standards. And I'll give you something like BKTs, twins. So yeah, very limited. I'll just see if there's any like narrows in that. Don't think there is with these. No, so yeah, what you typically expect in that, and I think these lizard ones, these are, I like to say LSW tires in that. Because yeah, I can't see any marks now, like branding wise. Because yeah, actually, do I have it on any of these here now? So, not that one here. Yeah, that's Treadborg. And that is also Treadborg. So yeah, I didn't have that as an option, so. Apologies there for not having a full one close up, but yeah, pretty sure that is that. Then yeah, also Starfire, so your GPS that. So again, not really needed, but is a really sick configuration. Skid bottle, no or yes. Cabin flag, so yeah, you got Brazil, Rio Grande de Sol, Santa Catarina, Parana, Mato Grosso, United States, Germany, France, Argentina, or none. And now for the thermal bottle with cap, so no or yes. So I think that is something in the cabinet. You know, like a little furnace mug. 
So yeah, there it goes here. In cab, may zoom this up in editing, so no or yes. If you look at the seat and that right door there in the little cubby holes there, yes or no. So yeah, a nice little feature of that. Side signals, no or yes. So yeah, that's just these little warm things. And again, depends on what region you're in, whether or not they're used or not. Windows, you've got clear or tinted. There's no halfway in between. For the cover, no or yes. So that's going to be at the rear. So yeah, we'll have a little look at that. If I got that as an option on one of these at least. Beacons, both right, left or none. License plate. And on to the 2020 version, so yeah. Again, very similar configurations in that. Got your folder covers in that, thermo cups in that, lovely jubbly. And yeah, with the engines in that, so it's slightly different than that. Again, 326 upwards to 478. So you've got the variable CVT versions. Do you have a power shift version for the upper end ones? But yeah, no different kind of gearbox and that, so if you want something just simple, then yeah, feel free to use those. But yeah, there is a slight difference, again, also at the configuration, so at the rear, I think this is. No, sorry, at the front, so yeah, you got three points, or your front weight. So that adds 1.1 ton, so I'm guessing that's going to be like a 1.25 ton, once you take the weight off your three point linkage, I think. But yeah, so overall, here we are, and please say I just got one of these on. Nope, so. So yeah, for that cover thing, I, I didn't have it set it on the other models when I had everything all pre set up in that. Because yeah, I also want to see if they you know it was like an animation thing in that, so you can have. But no, by the looks of it, no rain. Also, yeah, no like, options to animate open doors in that. Which, to be fair, I do mind that. I know we've got plenty of Dundee mods in that. That has that as an option, but sometimes it's just, yeah, it's good to keep things simple in that. So, yeah, also in the 280. So, yeah, overall, turn it on. Lights. So, yeah, again, go outside, look at the lights. Left indicator. Right indicator. There we go, turn this off. Brake lights, there we go, got those, and you also yeah, got your side lights that when running. And your rule has it form, pretty much, yeah, as a normal John Deere Nat. Decent turn radius Nat, so again, nothing to complain about. But yeah, again, I may have, yeah, I've gone slightly over the prices in that. Yeah, I mentioned the base prices, but how much is it for like a top end model Nat? So look at the 2020 version. I know, say I want twins of that. Alright, the BKTs do have the narrows and that on the larger one, so apologies there on the tyres and that. I thought these were exactly the same, but clearly they're not, but yeah, so again, just going for the maximum options and that. Yes, just about everything. So yeah, in total, that is what two? Oh, sorry, three hundred and seventy-six grand. So two hundred and eighty base with a ninety-six grand as optional fees. But yeah, so see there, we got the symbol there at the rear now, one point six tons, as it's, it's like a winch now. So it says hook function, and yeah, when it says when approaching the rear hitch now. So. Oh yeah, there we go, Nat, so... Yeah, that requires... It says the Volvo DLC, but that is pretty much the... Um, Platinum expansion, the Silver Run Forest map, Nat, so... No go over here, Nat. And again, things like that, I do love to see, Nat. Yeah, it doesn't have a winch out the front. But yeah, so the winch is there. So let's go and grab some trees, Nat. See how much I can grab. The uh, maximum weight is allowed, 1.6 tons. Fair enough. So yeah, we can pull those logs. Yeah, horns seem to be basic, and then yep. Yeah. If you're very familiar with the Platinum DLC, Nat, 
So yeah, L1R1, left stick and out, or left, yeah, left stick and out does that. So that brings it out or tightens in the winch net. And yeah, also your L1 and triangle can just, you know, detach. But yes, give a bit of slack in that. But yeah, anyway, I can see where the winch is. Uh, no. Again, I can't remember where these are located in real life, because yeah, you got your three-point link here, got your ball hitch there, your P2 shaft, a pin hook attacher in that, by the looks of it. And then, yeah, again, I cannot find the winch in that, but... Yeah, not too sure on that in real life, in terms of where it's located, but overall, no good quality more on that. Can't, again, I can't fault it, can't complain. Does the job on, as it says on the tin, and yeah, overall you can have a tractor that ranges from 255 to 470 horsepower. Yeah, costs no more than what, 308 grand. So yeah, overall good quality more than that. Can't really say much else as a negative damn sight. But anyway, so it's the John Deere 8R South America by Pot Cake. Next. For our second to last mod, as you can see, we've got the Motorized Bike. This is by Guyan FS. 7.33 megabytes to download, and what this is is basically a, you know, like a normal bicycle net. However, it's been fitted with a handcrafted mini buggy with a unique hand different design that brings in sync style fun to the leisure moments on your farm. So, yeah, I got, you know, again, it's one mod in that, but I got two different configurations in that. So, this one here's got the Short seats now, this has got the long seat version. But yeah, five slots on console. I find this under vehicles, under cars. Weirdly. One and a half grand though, so yeah, not bad. So yeah, configuration got standard, standard seat, rear seat, a large seat, and back to standard. And for your design, got design one and design two, so that is the forks net, so I can't remember the exact names of these kind of forks and that, but yeah, you got one and two. The main colour does the frame. You got blue, red, green, yellow, and orange. Then along with your basic basic colour palette. And there's some additional bones ones I think as well. And then design colour, black and white, that is your engine. Colour of the handlebars. Got black, chrome, and then your basic basic colour palette, so a nice hot pink to make that clear. And then lastly you got your rims, which is do so custom ones are metallic silver, white, matte black, black. And then yeah, I think it goes to your basic base game colour palette. So overall, not too bad, not too shabby, so sorts it on. Yeah, I've whack it on uh, cruise control one. So yeah, do have something here, so L1 Right stick up and down. See, so, yeah, the character's doing something in that, but I can't find. I think it's something to do with the sensitivity of the steering as well, because, yeah, this is compatible with the passenger DLC, so if you do have a passenger in that, or someone you want to tag along with. But yeah, so yeah, it's got pilot lean animation in that, we know that. But yeah, so I'm gonna have. So yeah, if I try this sex L1, right stick all the way up now. So yeah, I think this is like something to do with guessing the sense sensitive net. Or is it. No, it says weedy animation. So yeah, it says again. And it's looking at the monster which tries to simulate the real function at the animation use controls from the mouse, keyboard or controller, so again I'm trying to do a wheezy in that. So I can't do a wheezy there. So yeah, then L1, then yeah, press it, right stick down. Yeah, trying to like, flip the fr flip the throttle in that. So yeah, it's got the sensitivity there, so yeah, I'm pressing L1 and right stick up. So that is like the wide turn radius in that. Oh, ouch. That hurts. And yeah, pressing L L1 and right right stick down. Is that just because of me that? Because of this 
I don't know if he has because of me necessarily in that. Yeah, because, yeah, right stick is down. And we're still getting that wide turn radius in that. If I'll try to keep it tight as I can. So, yeah, we're automatically going wide in that, so. Yeah, it says about the wheelie animation, but. I can't seem to get out of this. Maybe with this one here, with just the normal C net. Again, L1 right stick net. And trying to do a stompy or anything like that. Because, yeah, I cannot figure out how this goes in that. Oh, yeah, I'm trying, trying to quit the. Yeah, like on the PC in that, or on, on PC, um. On the mod hub in that. Yeah, showing someone wants to do a wheelie in that, but. Again, I'm not sure if this is user error in that or what. I don't know the map view now. I try to get a damn weed going in that. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that, so. Oh, that is a downer now. Again, I'm trying to give it a fair go now. Try to do different things here without mentioning it. And. Absolute butt kiss. So, in you go. Okay, right, you did not want to go into the drink. In you go. There it goes. But yeah, overall, it's a good little quality mod, that. Ah, wait a minute, got the weed animation there. Ah, wait a minute, so... Let's try it again, so L1... <gasps> me trying to intentionally dumb this in the water. So, let's try it again, so... L1, right stick all the way down. So let's try that. There we go. Then press L1, right stick up in that. So, ah, maybe you need to go over a command in that. Doesn't really make it clear in that. So, again, dump it in there. Uh, is it doing anything? I'm not, not too sure on that. Why don't I just go full throttle in that? So, full throttle. Yeah, again, so do something a little bit here and there. I'm not sure if because of the springs in that, or... Or the suspension at the front. Yeah, again, I'm not too sure on that. I do apologise about saying I'm not, not sure on that, because... I'm literally trying everything on with this and that. Because, yeah, again, I didn't realise about the wheelie in that, so... It's a unique thing in that. A bit of a niche thing as well. Yeah, so it's just a sensitivity in that, but overall... I can't figure out that. So, anyways, that is the motorist bike by Giant FS. Next, now for our final mod, and this is the new Holland TX32. This is by Prushcap. 38.53 megabit sound. Those slot count is 17 slots for the combine, 7 slots for the header, and 4 slots for the trailer. So, this contains obviously the TX32 combine, 55 grand, 155 horsepower. Top speed of 25 kilometers per hour, so that is what 12, 13, 15 miles an hour. On top of that, it's got a four meter header that costs 20 grand and a header trailer. And yet, the header will automatically snap on that once you've got it placed. So, first of all, you find the combine in Harvester. So, go towards the end, and there we go. 55 grand, 50 miles an hour, holds 5,600 litres, weighs 9.4 tonnes, 350 litres of fuel. Well, brands got Trailerborg, Michelin's, Continental's, Verschleins, and BKT's, along with Mitas. And yeah, so different sizes of the rims and that, and whether or not you want the six or the off road tyres. Like so. And at more triangles, no or yes, so it's going to be at the rear. Additional mirrors, no or yes. Beacons got both in front, in back, or just none. Reflectors, no or yes, so that's going to be, I think, at the rear. So, yeah, it's actually no, it's not on the rear, but it's on the side, so you can see that at the back. Then go down, one triangles, no or yes, so it's going to be that at the rear, at the front, nothing at the front, and then yeah, got the main secrets here on the side, so you got new, worn out, or new. Because, yeah, with that, you can go to the colour options. So, you've got 
a brand new yellow, a light use yellow, or a very used yellow. And same with the rims, license plates. So yeah, let's hop into here. So in the cab, turn the engine on. And for the harvester, we've got straw swapping that, and it says full support of the interactive control is supported by Vertex Design. But without a further ado, let's get cracking on this. So, so see, we've got a gauge there in the front. I think that's going to be for the speedo and that. But yeah, so first impressions of this. I had a little bit of a fun test around, you know, harvesting that and practicing that. And I got to say, this does have a very realistic kind of driving style. So rather than you know, just being all, all point time, so turn left, you turn left, turn right, turn right. There's actually a realistic delay. But also, this does have a bit of a hindrance when you get things a bit loaded up. Because if you, know, if you just keep on cracking that steering, so we'll see it oversteers that. So this will come a bit of an issue later on. So let's go and first of all get the header opened up. So yeah, unfolding all that lovely good stuff. So there we go. Let's get you hooked up. And so we'll see, yeah, when you get it hooked up, the spikes on the end comes out. So let's first of all test the header trailer. So. As I said, it does hook on automatically, so let's say if you do this, there we go, that will snap on like so, and yeah, let's go and get this realigned, but yeah, so the front response also is a bit delayed, so I do have a field of wheat, ignore the corner now, I was seeking to set things up, and yeah, also the gearbox snap. It does seem very sluggish in that, but again, something like that is very reminiscent of an old combine that, so... Anywho, let's get cracking on the harvest in. And you sort of see, we are getting short coming out at the bottom. Yeah, like again, the largest amount of wheat in that, because, yeah, it's filling fully for us, I don't think. Oh no, it's fertilized now, but yes, yeah, she's rolling and the wheat snap, so... Overall does a good job, good enough job in that, and for when it's working that, in the field that, so we'll see the head turning there, or the turn radius there, decent enough. But yeah, with you steering in that, it does make it very helpful in the field that, having that loose back end in that. And there's doing a little bit of weaving in that. But yeah, it's mainly when you're on the road in that, you do need to be a bit careful in that, so... So yeah. Like that, already can't steer in that. Yeah, so do you need to be a bit careful when you're transporting in that, so Oops, there we go again. But yeah, it's being like this when the header's on. It does oversteer a little bit, as I've already seen. As well as I shoot, but yeah, so sorry <laughs> in logician there, so yeah, once you get the header on, do you need to be a bit wary, so Thinking when you're transporting this, I do recommend using a tractor or something to pull this because, yeah, again, you can use the combine that to transport because it does have the hook there on the rear, but as you'll see, so there we go. See, it snaps on that. And yeah, let's go and get this hooked on. I don't know why I went to the cab there, so yeah, get you hooked on and yep, yeah, fold up and that gets not too full now. So yeah, see overall now it does have a performance issue now. So yeah, for something like this, I'll use a small tractor. If I think one to recommend base game wise, literally either something like the Zetas and that, or the Porsche Diesel and that. Well, I don't think that's base game, nor is the Zeta and that. Uh, that's part of the codes and that. Like, I can't remember what code I use for that, but yeah, anything like these and that, the Izekis and that, yeah, any kind of small tractor would do. And be very well suited to the map, so. Thank you, helicopter and that, interacting that, so. Overall, that, decent ball and that, so this is, again, realistic and that. Handles, yeah, as we do in real life and that. So yeah, just be a bit wary now. Again, just 
little of a note on that. So overall, good quality mods. And that is the new Holland TX-13 by Pushcap. With support of Vertex Design. But anyway, so... Now for wrapping up the map, uh, or map, not the map, or mod review that, so this is going to come out Friday, and yeah, the reason for it is very simple. First one starting off with, yeah, this came out Monday, and that done the map tour and that, so that was on uh, the Bosnian and Herzegovina map and that by Sebuki. Have not got around yet, even this is Friday now, so yeah, haven't got around to doing the other map tours now. I may not do these map tours because I want to get some other videos out now and this is taking way long to do so yeah come Tuesday it was one of those things where it was just a case of yeah I'm trying to think now I may have mentioned it earlier on in the recordings and that but yeah a lot of it is just down to you know uh, getting everything done now because this took what overall terms we setting up three hours or so yeah, two hours. I think it's about two and a half, three hours to get everything out, set up, and you know, just test around, figure out what is what. <coughs> Bit of voice crack there. And then, yeah, so from there, I thought try to get everything done, make good progress of it, but then had to go to work now because I do work from officially it's seven till four, but I get up at four, and then, yeah, get everything ready now, or usually get up about four, half four. At the moment, using the bus to get to work and that, so I'm out to leave home and that about half five to get to work for seven. So, yeah, by the time I get home, it's five o'clock, so automatically 12 plus hours of my day is already being used up for that. And yeah, it's just from there, it just exacerbates itself, it does, you know, where I'm just having issues after issues and that. And then as well from that, it's just not being female as of late in that. Wednesday was a right off, Thursday was a right off in that. Had those two days off work I did, so yeah, managed to get some of this done on Thursday in that, but yeah, most of this is being finished up on Friday. And yeah, so this will get edited and out whilst I'm get home in that, so yeah, I think Friday evening this is going to be up. At the end of the day, this is going to be two plus hours, I think, at least. No, Mr. P's video was two hours in broken halves. Oh, it does everything as I do. I'd, again, I do sort of similar to what Mr. P does, edits it on the PlayStation. That's my main bulk of editing, but recently, we're trying to edit the fine bits out, the gaps and that, in these speeches, by like us, us, ums, and all that. I get all that done on the PC now, because I can see everything a lot clearer than that. But yeah, that's just a me thing that is. So yeah, again, I do apologise this being too late coming out, just literally... Last couple of days, it's just been, not saying not motivated or anything, just... Not being feeling right, a bit mentally down, sort of, again, I have to do like a percentage, percentage feed in, I have 100. A lot of it's been like sub-50s and that, just very low in mood-wise and that, just... Having, I've had the PlayStation, I've had it all ready to go and that to get everything done. I just end up staring and just, yeah, just thinking, like, ugh. Especially, I know this is going to come out late. It can get all the views and that, I would love to have, because usually something like this will get 200 views, at least, and that for my, these kind of mod reviews, these intense ones, but at the end of the day, I'm giving them my best attempt at that, and yeah, it's going to come out late, so it is what it is, and that. And currently, we're going to have mods on Friday, I'm not sure, because we're going to have the fact sheets coming out today as well. I've got some videos I want to do in that, but a lot of that's going to be done next week now, so... I want to get this up, then from there I want to get the next two episodes of Rags to Riches out, because... Episode 6, that is recorded, that's all done, I actually need to edit it out and get up and load in that, on PC. Uh, episode 7, I actually need to do a final section on that, and then from there... That's already to be edited and uploaded, and then, yeah, we'll spend time to get the 10,000 cow challenge done. I want to get a series recorded, and get a couple of episodes recorded over the weekend and that. But anyway, so, yeah, that's just again a extended outro on why everything's been going shit in that. So, again, apologize for this late coming out. For those who are watching and viewing this, thank you very much, as always. I do mean it, especially last week has been rough for me mentally now. I wouldn't use the word depressed.
It's not just very low moves in that, is how I'm describing that, so... Yeah. Think, yeah, for those who are watching, thank you very much as always. If Yeah, usually I don't do these plugs and that, but as always, if you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form, please leave a like. This has taken, probably say, five to eight hours to do that. Not including uploading on PC and that. But yeah, feel free to leave a like. If you're not subscribed yet, please do. But for those you choose to do, thanks for watching. But for now, it's me, Farmer, and we'll stream. And I'll see you all very soon.